Hey everybody, I am Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to today's live stream. We're trying a few things that are a little different this week. Namely, I'm out of oxygen in my like oxygen tank for doing lampwork glass. So we are not going to be doing lampwork glass today because the place we get it from is closed on the weekends. Um, so that's okay. But also we are dual streaming to YouTube publicly today here. It's a Saturday. Typically we only do that on Fridays, but I figured what the hey, we'll try it. So here we are. If you guys are watching this in the future, there should be a pinned comment for the tutorial that's kind of going along with what we're doing today. Um, if there is one. Sometimes I start the day with a plan and sometimes I don't stick to that plan. So that's just what that is. Um, but let's see, I wanna make sure that everything is set up. It looks like Botrix has entered well and we are up and going on kick now also, I think, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> So I'm going to get my little like uh, boards and stuff set up so that I can read everybody's comment. Well, hey, Walk, how's it going? Hey, Cat and Cauldron. How are y'all doing since we saw you last? Ah, Rhonda, hey, <laughs> how are you doing? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Is that accurate? But it's been a hot minute, huh? <laughs> oh, Rhonda, thank you so much. Oh, I put a big old, put a big old thing over my head. Maybe I should move that. Um, that's the alert sounds. I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to move that to down there that way. <laughs> that's just kind of weird. Um, <laughs> so there's that. It has been a beautiful day today so far. Um, I woke up and the ADHD was powerful, but we're getting it managed. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Walk in the rain says, a little chilly here, but not so bad. It's a little chilly here as well, but I'm soaking it up while I can because I know that the boob sweat heat of summer is coming. Just like how late summer, I'm looking forward to winter coming. Late winter, I'm going to cherish those last precious, you know, prime blanky time. No mosquitoes. Less boob sweat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, it's just coming to me in waves, all the reasons why I prefer <laughs> winter to summer. Like summer's great and everything, and I do get tired of being cold, but. Hey Liz, how's it going? It has been a while, Rhonda, goodness. Okay, so we are, yep, Walk in the Rain says, as soon as it gets really hot, I'm done with summer, same. I do like a, like a summer hiber hibernation if it gets too hot. I love my blanket chili time too. <laughs> right? Hey Pro, how's it going? What are you up to today? Okay, so yeah, I've got that stuff going. All right, oh, what I just clicked. Now we good. <sighs> Boo, he says. <laughs> but we are making some more wire wrapped jewelry today. Let me check and make sure I'm in frame. Um, oh, Liz says, good. The calves in the crack box are so beautiful. Oh, Liz, I'm so glad you think so. Ooh, this noise happened. What was the noise? It's right. There's a glare on my computer screen from the uh, window behind me. And so I can't freaking see <laughs> what I'm doing. Doing well, just getting ready for vacation trip. <sighs> Where are you going on vacation to? My AC is already on. E Florida weather. We had ours on last week and that was bonkers. It was too soon, but fortunately it got cold again. But also it was 80 and we tried to make it through the day, but we are sweaty little Sasquatches up in this house. Oh my gosh. All sorts of stuff happening on the ring, the noises that it makes. And now I can't see that I can't read the thing. Thank you to everybody who's following the channel. If you're following the channel, see, there's another one. My screen's too small. I can't see it. Let's get to work y'all. Cause I have not done a lick of anything since yesterday. I got fed and then played stronghold until 1230 in the morning with my bedtime. 
strict 10 p.m. If I don't get a full night's sleep, then I'm like just ruined. Um, hey, Nurse Chancy, how's it going? Hey, Julie. Okay. So we're going to continue at first making the ear cuffs that we had started on yesterday, which are these like uh, charm dangle ear cuffs. And just in case anybody's wondering, that way you don't have to ask. I'm okay. I just I wire wrapped a, a, I wire wrapped a blister onto my finger. Like I didn't make it. I just I got a blister from wire wrapping. I guess I should say. Uh, Rhonda says I love all your changes you have done to your workspace. You've been making beautiful beads in your kilns. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I'm like, it's so important to me to be in love with my space because I spend so much time here, and it's easy to kind of, you know maybe feel trapped sometimes by my work like I it's so it's with the way that the craft room had been for so long when we were I got a craft while talking um whenever we were on the road so much uh I got breaks from being at work because being home was kind of in a hotel because there wasn't any work around me so um but now that you know we're home almost all of the time which I love it was like okay I need we need to do some work on us is what I was saying to me in my house. <laughs> like, cause I felt like we couldn't stand each other. Me and you know, all my piles of shit. <laughs> hey Liz. Hey Susie. Julie says 41 degrees here in Michigan and just too cold to put together my raised garden beds that just arrived. Tomorrow will be warmer. Right on. Live to garden another day. Does raised beds await? 41 degrees. So that is bur cold. In Michigan. Are you an ooper or a troll? I have a I have a fondness for the trolls. I'm not going to lie. Also, I don't know if that's I had said that to my mom who lives in Michigan. And she was like, I've been a troll. Like I, I hope it's not like an insult thing. <laughs> Cause my mom got a little like <laughs> This is a real treat being on time and live early. Thank you, Vaughn, for all you do and share. Oh, anytime, Lydia. Like crafters rumper room for me and fun and informative always friend. Well, I hate tashers. Says, oh dude, you poor finger. Ah, it's okay. Well, actually, it wasn't the blister that was so bad. I just kept. Oh, sorry, I just kept chewing on it. So, ee, right on, Tara. Excellent. But yeah, in a uh, in an attempt. To get the YouTube algorithm to be like, notice me, senpai. Um, I'm going to, I'm experimenting with at least whenever I'm here at this desk with dual streaming because I don't know how I would be able to keep up with kick and YouTube comments when I'm doing torch work. So we may get more YouTube live streams upcoming. Ooh, Amy says, hello, I see we're crafting again. I'm crafting along with you. Nice, what are you working on today, Amy? Ah, we do it. Oh, I missed a whole bunch of, we'll be headed to Kentucky, then, new ho then who knows where we'll end up. All oh, right on, pro. Will there be shroom creation today? No, uh, I, I'm gonna keep doing what we're doing. We're out of oxygen, like we ran out last week. And with the family stuff that came up during the middle of the week, we were not home on the day that we would have normally have been going and like getting gas um, in town. So we straight up don't have any oxygen. Therefore, no torch work. But good news is, is I've got loads of other stuff that needs done. Um, and it's only taken me 10 minutes to not finish a single ear cup. Wow. Wow. Hey, Nightshade. We do it. Says, I hope you and Randy are well. I've missed so many streams I'm going through with the trolls. We've missed you. I've been wondering how you're doing. Hello. Lisa says, I need to buy a lottery ticket. I've never been able to catch two lives in a row. Ooh, do it. <laughs> Good luck to you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Anna. Hello from Venezuela. Aw. Remember to pop over to YouTube if you can and hit the like button. Oh yeah. Apparently it's super uh, OP, like overpowered. If you click the like button 
on um on YouTube. Like it'll it'll do good things for our channel. Like so if y'all want to go over there and like tickle it, that'd be cool. Ooh, Rhonda says, are you preparing for any big shows like Dragon Con? We are. We are currently this coming weekend, like not like today and tomorrow, but like a week from today, we will be vending at Anime St. Louis. I'm going to move my microphone. I'm going to keep stopping. There we go. But uh, so we're kind of like power cramming on that. Hey, Kay. <laughs> gotcha. Well, I'm glad to stream on both. Yeah, Camille says, I like here better YouTube just stupid stuff. If I didn't tell it, I wanted to. Gotcha. Hey, Al, how's it going? And if y'all are interested, um, what we're doing here today is actually going to be tomorrow's tutorial. So if we're not getting a good up close view or if I'm out of frame or anything like that, um, please do let me know, but I will be doing like uh, after today's stream, actually, I'm going to be um, recording tomorrow's tutorial. And I'm going to try to get one made for next week as well. But, oof. Ooh -wee. I'm feeling really good today, Al. I'm a little whooped. I'm a little thirsty. This is my first cup of coffee. So, if, if I'm drooping... It's because I haven't been watered yet today. <laughs> so, woo! Laura says, I'm organizing, cleaning my work desk. So I'm on the computer for kick and watching YouTube in my bedroom. Nice. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that kind of support. That's an excellent way to help support the channel. Susie says, I always hit the like button on YouTube because you do amazing work. Oh, thank you, Susie. I appreciate that. <laughs> so how have you been doing, Rhonda? What have you been up to? Kay says, just cast you to my TV so I can see better. What are you making today? I am making some drop charm ear cuffs. So they're an ear cuff that sits kind of low on the ear. They're intended to be worn... Um, without piercings, Vanovision. <laughs> I like that. And um, right now I'm just making the bases and then we're going to go through and attach charms to all of them. Just with a little jump ring. And it's a fun way that... The, so the uh, sometimes whenever I'm making stuff for in the booth, it's... There's, I'm spoiled for choice. I could literally make anything my little heart desires. And therefore, I'll sit there and be frozen up and not know what to make. Like, I don't know if any of y'all can relate to that, but I'm in that pickle frequently. Um, oh, Camille says, guess what I'm doing? I bet you making wire wrap trees that you do so well because they're beautiful and you're an artist. Um, what were we talking about? Come on, coffee. Hey. Mm. Let's get in there. Um, we added a new ear cuff display to the booth. So now I have a need to make the ear cuffs. So I'm like, mm, mission, mission accepted. So now I'm going to grind this out. And it's just a nice little artsy side quest to make 75 is what the display itself holds. So I want to make 150. That way, if I sell out, I sold out you know, two whole displays worth. But that way, you know, basically I want to be able to sell 75 and still have a fully stocked looking uh, display is my logic there on that one. Hey, Viking says, hello, how are you doing? You're doing pretty well. How are you doing today? We're going to bend this around. I do miss doing my glass though, but also I'm very happy to be getting some work ground out. <laughs> Congrats, Camille, on level three over on Kit. Rhonda says, I have been busy helping with my granddaughters. Ooh, learned to crochet and I'm still making jewelry and things for my granddaughters. Like barrettes, nice. Oh, I bet that's lovely. Getting to have cool handmade barrettes. 
Like, <laughs> Camille says, yerp. <laughs> I'm doing well, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Nice. Yeah, this morning was a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Randy's been up since like 5.30 because he took Abby into work. Um, he gets up real early that way. He can make sure that she's up and he just kind of, that's what he decided to do. And honestly, I love him for doing it because he works so hard. And he's so great for, at being there just for everybody around him. So... But he's a little ragged already this morning. But I was able to sleep in until about 8. But then I did some garden chores. Got all of the Jerusalem artichokes, like, weeded uh, where they were growing outside of the bed. It's not perfect, but I got, like, the whole area. So that's really good. And we have enough Jerusalem artichokes uprooted that um, I may be able to have some with dinner. But I'm also thinking about putting them... Um, in the chicken coop and letting the chickens have at them. Camille says, will you have time to show us the displays? Um, I can show you in a picture. And then we probably will get a video tour of the booth at Anime St. Louis, but we won't do it, be doing any live streams or anything next week. Let's see. Scroll, scroll, scroll. There we go past all the pictures of my plants. Okay, so this is, we're starting at this end of the booth. So, and if you picture like up here is going to be one of the TVs that we like loop, like a promotional, like we made like a six hour long infomercial um, <laughs> of just like scrolling past the screen, like little demos of things that we do. Cause whenever we tell people that our jewelry is handmade, if you've never made jewelry or watched a like DIY jewelry tutorial, you have you may have no idea what any of it has to do. It's like, okay, so you understand the concept of handmade, but we want to with the video going, um, it's a great eye catcher for one. Um, but with the video going, we can point at it and be like, and it can add some understanding. Um, so that's why we do, we have a TV on each end too because man it really does catch people's eyes like that worked at dragon we had people uh because we have a qr code that's next to it where people can take a picture so if they want to learn how to do it it takes them right to our uh tutorials page so bracelets across the bottom necklaces and earrings and some bracelets on the little cone displays and then this is where you know it kind of transfers over and then it's getting into you know it's all necklaces and stuff and earrings but then it's pendants and here you can see those are our ring display so that's how many finger rings we need made and I usually try to have like four times as many as what a um, display will hold so if we can have 100 earrings displayed at once I'm just making up numbers here I try to have 400 pairs of earrings made like that's that's how I give some arbitrary structure because I don't know if that many are going to sell, but I may not have to restock earrings for a while. Um, but uh, it's just an arbitrary number that gives me a a path to function within. You know, it's be like to channel my creativity into something tangible. And then over here, you can't see them. Um, it's just like a finger ring display but it has like a velvet tray insert face down on it. That way it doesn't get all filthy, but it's gonna be those two that have the ear cuffs in them. And then these displays have the little silicone ears that pop into them. And then we're gonna be doing hand flowers and anklets. So I have got to get, I've got, got to go. Like kick, great for those who need different platforms for me. I though I started watching you and your channel on YouTube, right on. Oh, wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm trying to not cough in the uh, microphone, but I have been a chit-chatting. Oh, uh, well, hey, Donna. It says, howdy, I almost forgot you were, at, uh, you were at this time. I love your purple. Well, thank you. Yeah, I found this in the closet, and it still fits, so I'm like, don't mind if I do. Hey, Diane. Mm -hmm. Oh, Camille says, I put my tablet with a slideshow. That's a really good idea. 
I basically just wanted like two digital billboards in my booth. So we got a, it was like a Black Friday sale. So we were able to get TVs for pretty cheap that are like smart TVs. Um, and we can still plug a USB with like 12 hours of footage and just have it go. Ooh, that Wawa. Viking, I'm, I, I want to thank you every day for sending me this cup holder. It is so perfect and it has kept me from being just an absolute soggy mess from knocking my cup over all the time. <laughs> wow. Camille says, I made 300 simple gemstone rings. I have them in a couple stores for $5. They sell. They really do. That's a lot of rings to make. Good on you for putting in all that hard work. Hey, Trevin. I don't know what that is. And there's another one of those. And just put it in the pile and make another one. <laughs> I really do I really do love repetitive work though. Like it doesn't sometimes it gets a little mind nummy. <laughs> Same Viking, thank you. That was so thoughtful. But sometimes my brain will get a little fried from doing too much of the same thing. But uh, whenever I there's like a goal for me to be working towards, I thrive on it. Hey, Anne, how's it going? How are you doing today? So I'm just squeezing the sides down so that when we come through and do our one, two, three, it stays nice and tidy. Little Sprite says, the good thing about these cuffs is that they are quick to make, but so cute and pretty, right? Like, and I, I love them. I think I've only gotten so quick at making them because I've made so many, but isn't that the trick of it though? Ah, Camille says they were for the holiday show I missed because of COVID, a bit of overhead. Right on. Well, that's the thing, y'all, is if you're making, you know, jewelry, whether it's inventory for your website or if you're doing, you know, a vending a booth or if you have like a stall at like an antique shop or something or a boutique, um, jewelry doesn't go bad. You know, maybe if it's like copper or sterling or something, you may need to polish it, but once you've done that work, it can, you're just getting ahead so that you can take it a little slower later on. So once we've, that's okay. So Randy and I had started our business in 2008. We started YouTube like full time in 2016. But for eight years, we had been slowly beefing up and building up our inventory. It started out, we had one tackle box and then we had two and then we had three and then we had four full to the freaking gills tackle boxes um, of jewelry. And then we started making costumes for sale. So we had totes and totes of like handmade stuff and it was, it was really something. Like we had a lot of inventory um, and then, <laughs> And then we liquidated it in um, during the pandemic. Like we were having auctions and we were like, sell it. Because we didn't know what the future was going to be. Now we didn't sell it for cheap. You know, we did our auctions and y'all kept us sitting pretty. Um, you know, y'all were so supportive of everything we've done with the auctions and everything. Um, but we didn't, we didn't think we were going to be doing conventions again. Cause we were just, we were kind of tired for, from being on the road. Uh, cause in 2000, since 2008, we had been doing the slowest year we had was that first year. And we only did 10 shows that first year, but that's because Randy was still working. Um, and then, and then we did about 30 some odd shows a year until 2019. So we were tired, like, and I think to, to, now that we have a little bit of hindsight, I can understand we were, I, that's, I, I'm tired just thinking about it. That's a lot. And there was one, there was one year that, you know, we had booked real heavy, um, and we had nine weekends 
back to back that uh, we just weren't home. We, we had nine shows back to back. And that, I think that was too much. Um, whoo So, you know, with that under our belt, we were like, maybe it's, you know, ready for the next stage of our life. Sam Dog had cancer. Um, you know, we were getting to spend more time, you know, with the, uh, having our nieces for the summer. And that was a lot of fun. And I was really, really glad that we were able to be home for that. Because normally the summer, that's like vending season. But uh, so we, we happily liquidated all of our inventory. And then here we are vending again. <laughs> Which is good because they're the two, I mean, just freaking best and favorite shows. There's a couple of other shows that I think I would have been very happy to have reincorporated into our travel schedule, but we're still taking care of our elderly pets um, who are precious to us, so I don't want to miss out on this time together. Um, so it may be, hopefully, another couple of years before we're back full swing into vending, but the two that we have are pretty top-notch, and that's Anime St. Louis, so we get to see all of our St. Louis peeps, and then Dragon Con, and that's Labor Day weekend. Now, Anime St. Louis is this coming weekend, so and I was so excited because our niece Maddie and her mama are coming and hanging out with us and helping us in the booth, which is going to be excellent. I think, are we going to get to see y'all pro cool at, um, at Anime St. Louis, because I think we're going to get to see Yvette and Man Beast. <laughs> Diane says, 30 shows a year, travel plus setup and takedown. Yup. And the thing is, okay, one of the biggest reasons why we were very happy to be walking away from conventions is the first convention we ever did, the convention hotel, like the hotel room that the convention was in, the big fancy like Chattanooga Choo Choo, was 70 bucks a night for the hotel room, which was expensive back then. And the booth was $80. So that like same convention center, well, they, they've sold off parts of the building and stuff, but same town, basically the same convention, same attendees, more or less, because they still get the same like, you know, couple thousand of attendees through, but they're charging, you know, $500 for it. No, this is not the Chattanooga uh, choo choo one, but it's most conventions are charging anywhere from three to five hundred dollars for the same kind of booth space that used to be 80 bucks. And then you know, you're getting paying the other arm and leg for uh, the hotel room. So Randy and I were tired and getting kind of jaded and bitter. Oh, yeah, real bitter. Um, about like everything being so expensive. Oh my god, <laughs> and that was back in 2019. But um, so we were happy to walk away from conventions, but now I'm excited about getting back into them because I feel like because of y'all, we don't have to be so doing every single show that we possibly can. You all give us the luxury by being here and hanging out and supporting us through just watching, just by being here watching y'all do so much to help keep our business afloat <laughs> so thank you guys but um y'all give us that luxury to be able to pick and choose which conventions which vending events we want to do and so i'd really like to be back up to the point where we are doing one vending event a month and at our busiest i'd like to do an additional teaching event per month so that's two weekends a month that's a pretty dense year but we've rebuilt, like, because that's something that, that's what's been challenging for Randy and I for the past couple of years, is trying to rebuild all of our inventory from zero. We're doing 10 years worth of work as far as, because, you know, we'd prep for a show and we'd make 100 things and we'd sell 50. Well, now we have 50 things in back stock. So we'd make another 100 things and sell 50. Well, now we have 100 things in back stock you know, and trying to beef it up to do that. Whenever we, uh, the first convention that we did after the pandemic and whenever conventions were starting to be a thing again, we sold out of things. Like we were having to take displays down. We had no bracelets 
Like it was amazing, but horrible because then we had to remake all of that stuff in four months uh, for Dragon Con to restock that booth. And then we did really freaking well, <laughs> which was awesome, but horrible. <laughs> so, oh my gosh. <sighs> and then we did Anime St. Louis again, because we have eight months between Dragon Con and Anime St. Louis. But four months of that is us prepping up for Christmas, because you gotta hustle that Santa money. Um, hey, oh my god, how's it going? Sorry, I've just been going down memory lane and uh, crafting. But yeah, so, but we're getting to where we almost have three full tackle boxes of jewelry. And so I'm excited because I think I can start making costumes again. And I feel really inspired to be making costumes again. Aw, Rhonda says, I think people appreciate seeing the process of your hard work too. I, th I think you're right, Rhonda. And I, I think that, I mean, I hope that they do because really I enjoy seeing other people's process and their hard work that goes into their artwork. And, you know, I absolutely love art and anything artsy fartsy and craftsy. And so seeing other people do things that they make them happy, the way that crafting makes me happy, like, that's awesome. I get to be an art appreciator, you know? So it's like, and, and so that's how I try to think of it from somebody else's perspective that, you know, if I feel that way towards other people's art, maybe people feel that way about mine. And so it gives me the courage to openly share my work, you know, with an open heart. So open to, you know, kindness and criticism because it's sometimes that's the only way to catch the kindness full face is by catching the criticism too. <laughs> so, and it's just hitting y'all, y'all douse me in kindness so frequently. I'm rambling, but that's all right. Um, aw. <laughs> oh, Star, I don't know if I said hey to you. I just now saw that you came in. Camille says, shows are too much of a pain in the ass because I can't drive and I can't lift anything. That makes complete and total sense. Um. But you see, you have your artwork and other, uh, you know, boutiques and stuff. And there's the obstacle is the way. If you know that something isn't going to work for you, then you know you need to figure something else out. I can't even think of you being jaded. You're so uh, uplifting to so many. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Welcome the rain. Oh, no, I'm perfectly grumpy and sassy and jaded and bitter. Um, you know, we all have our moments. Randy says we're all entitled to bad days. Sometimes I have bad days for like a couple of weeks, but. Bill says, my house is an entire studio, painting area, jewelry area, ceramic staging, kitchen table is where I take photos and work on display designs. Nice. Oh, oh my God. Well, thank you. Little Sprite says, I get all sorts of ideas watching you. You are an awesome teacher, Vaughn. Well, thank you. I am blessed with some of the best students. So. <laughs> Star says, hey, what are you making, Vaughn? I am making, we're about to get to the fun part. Um, I'm making these little wire wrapped ear cuffs that are blurry. Oh God, it's blurry in person too. No, my glasses are just dirty. Okay. Um, hey, there we go. <laughs> so we're going to be attaching a little charm that dangles down. Camille says, my friend is selling my stuff out of her trunk on lot at Fish all weekend. Oh my God, right on. That's cool. And see, so the kinds of things that I'm thinking about, because I don't want to vend just conventions. I love conventions, but I I love a bunch of other things too. So, and I don't know if we'll be able to fit in a full um, Ren fair, you know, like the month long ones. I don't think we can pull that off. But if I can find, I would love to go to like a Ren fair type event um, that's just like a weekend or maybe like a week long, not in June, <laughs> but. Um, you know, just something like that, because I think that would be really cool. And I want to go and immerse myself in different uh, fandoms 
So I want to go to like a fairy festival. I think that would be really cool. Um, maybe something a little more music festival-y, but not like one of the huge ones. Like, I just want to go and people again. Ah, well, thank you, Star. Inexpensive stuff there, dirty hippies. Ooh, I love dirty hippies. <laughs> I too am a dirty hippie, except for I did take a shower this morning. But the kind of stuff that I'd like to go and teach at, I think might something like Pinner's Con or um, which is like Pinterest's convention that they have. And I think I haven't checked into it in a couple of years, I'm going to be honest. Um, but these are just things that I'm kind of ruminating on. Um, and gem and mineral shows. I would love to go and teach wire wrapping um in conjunction with the gem and mineral shows. So I'd like to, there's one in Joplin that I'm very interested in um, seeing if they teach, because they do not have to be huge events, because really I can't teach more than 30 people at once. Like then that's maximum class size. I'd like to start off with like classes of like five to 10, because that's what I used to teach. Um, like I've taught up to classes of 30 at conventions, but you have to keep it a pretty sleek and simple design. Like we usually did like wire wrapped star flowers um, in the conventions and because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, so gem and mineral shows, um, I'd love to just go and like teach at different bead shows. So if any of y'all are watching and you have a local bead shop that you think would be a great place for us to host a class at because I'd like to be able to do like if we can set up a tour this isn't going to be for 2024 and it may not even be for 2025 again home life a whole lot is dependent on things that are completely out of my control so I don't know when this will happen but I do like having a plan so I can take action whenever the opportunity arises but I don't know if we should send them an email or if you should send me an email with their info. You can send me an email with their info and I'll contact them and be like, hey, <laughs> it's your boy <laughs> or something. Uh, before this, I thought you were making dragonfly rings. Oh, now that'd be cool though, wouldn't it? Oh, I wonder how we could do that. Gail, that's a really good idea. Uh-oh, what's that? I just dropped Oh, it's my chain mail thing. Chainmail Joe. Chainmail Joe. Chainmail Joe. Through the mountain. Chainmail Joe. I've lost my pencil. <sighs> Rest in peace, little pencil. Come here, who's my next victim? It looks like I'll be using a pen. That's okay. Secret tunnel. Wow, Lisa says I did the Ren Fair thing for 20 years. I miss it so much, but I want to try doing different types of events like Wasteland and the steampunk shows. Oh, that'd be cool. Yes, isn't there like a Curi Curiosities Expo? I think that'd be fun to vend at. Okay, so if it's a little dragonfly wing, it's probably going to have the spiral there. And then it would come out. And I don't really know how dragonfly wings are shaped. So this is going to be a little rough. And we could do a little bend around maybe or a sharp bend. There might be some coiling in this. <laughs> and I think I may end up using a... Twenty-two gauge. Hey, swamp rat! Chainmail is my favorite. It's nice. I like it too. I like the noise it makes. My jewelry don't jingle jingle. Well, it does though. Well, thank you, Gail. You inspired an idea in me, and I'm gonna try to tackle that. But first, this. Okay. So I'm gonna try to separate them all into vintage bronze, like off into pairs. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, 
through the mountain, secret tunnel. Ooh, there's a great steampunk festival in Mount Dora, Florida. Mm, right on, okay. Gail says, do you do any shows near SF? Is that San Francisco or South Florida? But I, no, either way, we haven't done either. That's a super duper long way to drive. It was, a, we thought that moving, when we were moving from Tennessee to here in the Midwest, we were like, yeah, we're, we're like central to everything. It's 24 hours to anywhere. Like, so we're doing the same shows that we used to do, but driving twice as far. Um, and I still just haven't gotten over that. <laughs> it's okay, I'll figure it out. But uh, even when we were in Tennessee, it was like a 17 hour drive to go down into Florida. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh, right on. Way to figure out your tech stuff, Lydia. I'm going to start doing craft parties. I've taught art to kids from one year to 79 year old adults. Right on. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Corporate can't compete with that kind of stuff, you guys. Michaels may be able to sell, you know, cheap jewelry from China and, you know, people might be able to, you know, undercut prices one way or another, but it is difficult to compete with providing an in-person experience where you're genuinely teaching something, where you're having genuine connections with folks. So I think that's a healthy um, direction for any small business is to kind of lean into what corporate just can't do. Ah, hey, Joe. Sorry, I'm lurking and not typing much. I have to redo my entire stream setup on a different PC. Oh my God, to get my cameras working properly. Oh no. Oh, Joe. That's rough. Ooh, Tasher says, would you teach in Canada? Have places that offer classes around if you would like. Um, I'm, I'm willing to look into it because traveling to teach is very different than traveling, bringing my whole booth with me. So I do, I do have to get my, my passport <laughs> before I can teach outside of the country though. Ooh, Elle says, Ohio, Ohio has a terrific rent fest. Right on. I've never been to that one. Is it in Columbus or is it Northern Ohio? Camille says, I have an MBA in social butterfly. <laughs> nice. Hey, Becca's. Mm. Oh, hey, Jenny says, I teach crochet in person sometimes at my local craft store. Oh, that's cool. Teaching's fun, isn't it? I like it. I don't know what was in my coffee this morning, but I have not shut up for 43 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to like chill for a sec because I'm like, man, my RPMs are like up there south in a small town near, near Waynesville. Oh, right on. Okay. It is very good coffee. <laughs> All right on. Jenny says, that's not a bad thing since we enjoy you talking. Well, thank you guys. Tickle my like buttons if you want. Um, Al says, first batch of baby bear earrings is on Instagram. Ooh, Al. Oh, San Francisco says, well, right on. I don't know how far that would be for us, but I'm not against it. I'd love to travel and get to see places I've never seen before. So now we have one pair of these ear, uh, ear cuffs that are keys. Oh, it made a bring noise. Scarborough Fair is going on now here in Central Texas. I used to go to Scarborough Fair. That was like our local rent fair when I was in high school. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And then one of my, like, uh, one of my best friend's moms from high school um, is part, is in the, the cast now of Scarborough Fair. So I would love to go just to, like, jump out of the bushes at her. <laughs> and then one of my best friends from high school is now, uh, works closely with the Bristol rent fair um in Wisconsin and so it's like and then a lot of our friends vend at the Tennessee Renaissance Festival so it's hmm, I just don't think we'd be able to manage a full month rent fair I mean not unless it was like in our town like less than an hour drive from where we live I and mean, we live in the podunk southwestern Missouri which is fine um I live mid Lothian. That sounds super like Tolkien. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, Tiggy. 
says hi Vaughn and Randy and all happy Saturday very happy Saturday for you too mm -hmm. do, 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 do. okay so we have one in silver with the keys and so now I'm going to do one in vintage bronze and one in antique copper secret tunnel secret tunnel through the mountain yeah if i get on instagram i think it will be a little later but i do want to check that out Al, thank you for letting us know mm -hmm -hmm. right on that bead lady in newmarket ontario does classes iguana beads in cambridge ontario does classes there's an annual gem and mineral show in ancaster ontario it also has classes okay okay <laughs> little sprite says we do have a great rain festival here too I have gone to that several times, but that is all I've done. Got to get out of there. I'm a little envious of you all in a good way. <laughs> right on. It's fun to it's fun to get out and about and just hang out with other weirdos. <laughs> so, like, I even like going to sports events now because I'm like, look at all these sports weirdos. It's just a different brand of fandom, but I enjoy pe being around people who are enjoying being at where they're at. Like, okay, right on, Guinea. You'll have a good day at work. Hey, Grasshopper says, good afternoon, Vaughn. Hope you're well. I'm doing really well today. Ooh, Cynthia says, I used to work back of the house in the food court, retired after 20 years. Oh, wow, right on. Oh, hey, Emily says, I never caught one of these lives. I'm, I'm late and I'll have to go back, sadly. Love your work, though. It's the nice thing about the live streams is you, it, you can kind of just jump in whenever you are. Um, so don't feel like you can't hang out if you didn't see the earlier part. All we've been doing is making some little wire wrapped ear cuffs and I've made all the bases and now I'm going to start attaching the charms and and then we're probably going to make some more ear cuffs. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so you, you didn't miss out on too much. Here I'm using 18 gauge 1 8 inch rings to attach these little key charms. So there's that one. And you can see it just kind of dangles like that. And I love mixed metal cones. I really do. So each of the different charms that I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to do like, so I have these, you know, triquetras here. I'm gonna do one metal tone in each of those. So we made 30 ear cuffs, but I'm going to be, we're only gonna have 10 different charm types, if that makes sense. Hey, Angel, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. Oh yeah, no worries, Emily. It's just kind of, uh, it's I feel like I like having you know my craft room getting to share it with you guys and it's like y'all are just did di digitally wandering through with your coffee and being like oh hey and I get to go oh hey and then we just both go about our day like they're super chill low obligation kind of stuff though if anyone wants to tickle my like button apparently that's good for the YouTube and you go to take that and it's like no stop <laughs> um I took a silver class. Oh, it says Camille at a bead show in North Carolina. There aren't any cool bead stores or shows or shows in in New York. Really? Huh? Silver clay class. Gotcha. How have you been doing, Grasshopper? I haven't had a chance to pop into your streams lately. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Ah, Maz Angel says I'm doing great. I'm glad that I was able to catch this live. Those ear cuffs are so cute. I'm glad you're able to catch it too. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, Will Sprite says, yep, it's time to start chores, but you will be on in the background. I may chime in every now and then. Oh, yes. Well, if you need distracted, I'm here for you. And just like that, boom. So I'm gonna just like swamp, put these in a pile together and I'm gonna chuck it into my done bucket which this is our done bucket. And you know, this is gonna give Randy like an aneurysm. I should not mix the charm ones with the not charm ones. <laughs> I'm thinking of you, baby. So I'll pick these out. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got them. Hmm. Where am I supposed to huck them then? I'll huck them in this box. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna do these triquetras and then we'll get to rummage for more charms. <laughs> the Celtic charms, yes. Camille says this is my 420 crafting party. Right on. I can dig it. Grasshopper says, I've been doing well. I haven't been streaming lately. That makes sense. I have much more pressing things on my plate right now. Oh no, streaming in glass is just a hobby. I get that. Well, I hope everything's okay. I'm not gonna pry, but I, I do hope everything's all right. And so now that we have all of these rings opened, we can just come through and pop it onto each of the charms, digging it. Lydia says, the keys are so cute, never seen them that small. May I ask where did you order the keys? I think I had gotten them in bulk off of AliExpress. And they're just like an enameled alloy, but they're the same at same exact charms as what they sell at like Hobby Lobby or Michael's or Joann's. So I figure instead of paying, you know, for one or two of them or a pack of 10, why not get a hundred? <laughs> and so I started um, ordering in, in actual bulk. Uh, Emily says, do you recommend AliExpress? I do. I have had great experiences with them. Um, they're very good at taking my money um but they like I, i've not had any problems with anything um you have to be very discerning about who you're buying from because it's not it, like aliexpress is kind of like ebay or amazon where there's different sellers so some sellers are reputable and some sellers are not going to be that's just welcome to the internet um but Oftentimes I'm able to purchase directly from the manufacturers um, of the charms. So, you know, or whatever thing it is. So just be discerning, you know, be, you know, be a smart shopper. Into the done bucket. Um, and I, I like it. I mean, I'm able to get just, just, just bunches of stuff. So. And just like that, the coffee's cold. Big sad. Everything is all right, says Grasshopper. That's good to hear. We're just having problems getting a down payment together for a vehicle. Ah, we weren't expecting to have to put 20% down. Shoo wee, buddy. That's rough. Ah, good luck to y'all. That's a, I'm glad everything's all right, but that's a whole lot on y'all's shoulders. That's, shoo. Oh, pardon me. You don't need me, me to tell you that though. All right, let's see what we have. We have, see these are the keys, the Alicia keys. What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh, we got some little frogs. We only have enough to do one in frogs though. So I'm going to set them off to the side. And if I find some that I only have a few of, now these are cute little wangs. Chicken wang, chicken wang. Hot dog and bologna, hot dog and bologna, chicken macaroni. So we're going to do, oh no, now some of these don't have the same size little loopy holes and that's making me, it's making me wild. All right, so we're just going to do the gold ones because these ones, the holes, there you can see, the hole is not big enough. If you can see. 
<laughs> Emily says that collection is everything. I do love beads. I love hoarding beads. Now I need to make some anklets, so this will definitely be the one that I pop back into for making for making anklets. One. How many of these can I use? One, two, and three. It's nice little leaf charms. Keep it on brand. All nature and crap. Lydia says, I order from AliExpress, um, but last had several items all sent, but pen order never sent, tried to get refund on the pen, but they never sent it and never refund back, but usually not. Yeah, and that's, it depends on the seller. And as a purchaser, you have the power to leave a review and let them know the level of your disgruntledness. Ooh, we're going to have to do some dragonflies. There's one. And we got these cute little flowers to jack and fly, jack and fly. Hot dog and bologna, chicken macaroni. Hmm. Oh, we have some turtles. Well, that rounds that out. Let's get these ones attached and then we'll dig for more charms. Al says, Vaughn, what is your favorite color? Ooh, I don't know. Right now, I'm really feeling like fly swatter blue, um, or like teal and purple are some of my favorite colors right now. Ooh, yeah, little feather charms. That's a good idea, Walk. So I'm just going to get a bunch of these rings open. Camille says, in college, my junior project was a six-foot wind chime made out of pennies and keys donated from the grown-ups that worked there. It was super nifty. That sounds nifty. <laughs> the grown-ups. <laughs> Fly sweater blue. <laughs> well, maybe well, like robin's egg blue. I don't know. It's the same color as my cup that my friend Tracy gave me. It's... What is that? Robin's egg blue, I guess. I don't know. Love turtles and elephants. Yeah. I don't have any elephant charms. That would be cool. <laughs> I've lost count. I'm just going to open all of these rings. I'm sure I'll need an open ring eventually. Okay, so last week we were asking folks, what is your favorite craft and what got you into crafting? This week, I'm going to ask y'all if there's one craft that you could matrix style immediately upload directly into your brain and be a master at, what craft would it be? And there's no wrong answers. <laughs> and if there's more than one, you can say more than one. But like, what would be like the first one? Mine would probably be, ooh, would it be metallurgy? Because that's really broad. Drawing or paintings. Oh, yeah, that would be cool, Star. Ah, Elle says silversmithing. I've dabbled in it and love it. Nice. Yeah, because that's, I think, I think for me it'd be metallurgy, but I don't know if that would be like working with iron and steel style blacksmithing and like welding. 
or if it would be like copper smithing or if it would be silver smithing. Like, I don't know if I had to pick from those three, I don't know what it would be. Ah, Emily says, why are wrapping right on? Just play our videos while you're sleeping. <laughs> like, it might work. Oh, right on. Emily says, I do wire wrapping, but I just did the ear. Nice. That's how we all start. Metallurgy and salesmanship. There you go. You're in a dual spec into bard and crafter. Blacksmithy. Yes. Because there's a welding school not too far from here that I'm very interested in, but I don't feel like, like, I don't want to take an entire course in welding yet. Like, I'd like a sampler, like, to be able to take, like, a weekend workshop first. So I need to look into it and see if I can just take a weekend workshop or a few week course in, you know, introduction to welding. Ring. Ring. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, hey, Melanie says, hello again, Ms. Vaughn. <laughs> Are we continuing from yesterday? Yes, <laughs> this was what you were creating when I had to put, you had to go make parents dinner right on. Gail says metalwork, nice. Lisa says stained glass, yeah. That'd be a good one. Stained glass is beautiful. And then scoop them up and put them in the bucket. Just like that. So whenever I'm shopping for charms online, I always try to make sure that they're like dual sided. And then some of them, like this one here, has a little bit of bring, bring. Well, thank you so much for the follow, Jackie. Holy smokes. We got another follower. Hey, Mac, how are you doing today? One of us, one of us. Good morning to you. Well, I think it's afternoon now, but time's a construct. 3D printing for jewelry. Okay. Ooh, Melanie says, I've welded with oxacetylene. I don't think I said that right. Torch. Um, my dad was a steam fitter. Holy smokes. And I helped him weld the fence for our side yard. See, that's the kind of stuff that I want to know how to do it for is for like welding and like if I can make like plant trellises. So I, I don't feel like time is a construct for sure. It really is. Ah, Lisa says stained glass is addicting for me. I hope that's, I hope that's a good <laughs> uh hey Lori oh my gosh how have you been doing Tiggy says I am a reborn artist but the paints are so expensive at the moment and that's if you can get them now but I like all crafts just love beads beads are a lot of fun well right on Jackie you seem to be doing a good job all right so there's one and what I was doing here is sometimes there'll be some enameling stuck between the branches of a tree and I've just come through with this all and kind of poked it out a bit just to tidy it up. Y'all are feisty this morning. Come on, coffee, kick in, please. I just want to bean juice, make me go fast. I'll have to make a, another cup here in a little bit. We'll have a, an oil change, is what we were calling it last week, or the week before, I don't know. Uh-oh, what was that color? Okay, I had done the silver, so now we're gonna do the vintage bronze in the copper. Ooh, I caught it, oh, I had caught it with my belly. <laughs> Oh no, Jackie says, I have midterm exam and I feel like I have a zero chance of passing it. Hmm, well, what subject is it on? And is this like college or high school? Like midterm, that sounds like a college term. Oops, wandering out of frame. Oh, in English, right on. We needs water, says we do it. 
Well, good luck to you. I had to cheat in my Spanish classes. <laughs> I got caught though, but that okay. Ooh, Melanie says you need some dark tea like Avon that has more caffeine. There's actually, I put two, two tablespoons of coffee grounds in the coffee pot and a vanilla chai bag. So there's some tea in there. Mm. <laughs> hey, Jim. I hope he can hear me. Jim. <laughs> Laura says, Vaughn, Jim wanted to know why I had you on in two rooms. I told him to leave it alone. She's keeping me super productive. <laughs> well, I'm really glad to, to keep you productive. Jim, Jim. Oh, I keep forgetting the mic. Jim. <laughs> oh, I do need to get out more, don't I? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do -do 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 -do. Does anybody else have names that they just want me to yell into the microphone so you can turn the volume up and terrorize your housemates? The English formulas? I don't know what it, I, don't, I speak English and I don't even know what that is. It's just, it's just my mother tongue. I'm still learning it. That okay. Lisa says, it's great, expensive, but great. But I'm also addicted to wire wrapping and painting. Bit addictive, but I definitely need more hours outside of work to play. And that's, that's the tricky part. I was thinking about this the other day because it's, our business has definitely slowed down and I'm not complaining. It's all things have an ebb and a tie. Dylan, Trevor, Dylan. <laughs> I'm also accepting pet names just to see if your pets will look at the TV. <laughs> I tried to do like mom voice. <laughs> It'd be like, it's freaking breakfast or something. <laughs> oh, the English tenses. Okay. Like past tense and present tense. And camping tense. Mm -hmm. So now we got a little chicken wing. Scooter. Scooter. He's a good scooter. <laughs> Somebody pet scooter for me. Except for Laura, she's being productive. <gasps> he just backed up for booty scratches. <laughs> oh. Well, that's made my day. Thank you, Laura. Now get back to work. <laughs> this is so fun. Please do them on Saturday more often. I think you said you do them on Fridays normally. We do usually do these on Fridays because on Saturdays, that's usually like my, uh, I usually do lamp work glass on Saturdays, but I may start doing that on Tuesdays. We might like flip flop, swip it around. Um, turtles, I like turtles. Chunk it in the dumb bucket. And there we go. Now I've got these two that need just like a rogue charm upon them. Oh, do I have a rogue charm to put upon them? Let me rummage. Mm. Rummage, rummage, rummage. <gasps> I do. We'll put some little hearts on them. And these ones will be more expensive. <laughs> Boom. Hashtag hoarding. I really like this one. We might do some more in this style today. Do, 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 do. 
Do they make charms of any of the popular anime characters? Um, possibly. I honestly have not checked. Oh my gosh, the heater's clicking on. That makes sense. My hands are really cold. So, camping tents. <laughs> I am silly today, Lisa. I'm sorry. <laughs> Paul, Ivy, Ivy. I'll have to go get a. Oh, I know what we can do. <laughs> Where is it at? Everybody's fixing to go ham. <laughs> Don't get the dogs riled up. Meanwhile, me. Paul. Wait, or is Paul like? Is that a? That's a really human name for a pet. Is this a pet or, a, or like a husband? Um, sorry. I guess either way. Paul, like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll put the squeaker toy down. Um. <laughs> English, please, y'all. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I misunderstood the assignment. Um, <laughs> Nerded coffee, milk went bad, substituted with chocolate syrup. Oh. Do you have any powdered milk? That stuff usually works out pretty well. If Kitty was still here, you would have had her attention big time. Aw. Oh, Kitty. <laughs> My baby dog is Xander. Xander! <coughs> Xander! <coughs> Only buttermilk powder. Is buttermilk powder good in coffee? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that. But I don't know if I wouldn't do it. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, hey, Jenny, how's it going? <laughs> uh, no, this <laughs> is Camille, okay. <laughs> I trust you. It is good to, uh, husband, but he answered anyway. Well, hey, Paul, <laughs> sorry about the squeaker toy. <laughs> All right, on Lisa. <laughs> Goodness. You can't take me anywhere. That's all right, though. So now I'm doing a couple of attachments. Well, I did too many rings. That's okay, though. If I don't use them on this one, I'll probably use them on something else. But now we can offset how they attach to each other. And it'll give it a little bit more dangle as well, which I think is very nice. <laughs> oh, his ears perked up. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, it's good for fruit breads. Okay. <gasps> Becca says, you just had my four chewinis. Oh, I love that word. Um, attention, Jasper, Nyla, Leo, and Lenore. Now looking at me like, where's the squeaky? <laughs> Hey, Jasper. Hey, Nyla. Hey, Leo. Is it Lenore or Lenore? Oh, what beautiful names. See, we just got a little dangly heart. So if you don't have charms, don't worry. You can always make your own. Y'all, it is so cold. My fingers have gone pruney. What is up with that? I'm glad the heater kicked on. It is a little burr cold in this house. 
Oh, not today, Jenny. But that's all right. I'm blessed beyond measure. And there we are with that one. I think I like it on the other way. I'm going to flip it around. Right on. Diane says, I loved watching you do chain mail stuff. Right on. I really like doing chain mail, so I'm glad you enjoyed that. My dog's name is Doobie Dude. <gasps> Doobie Dude. The face of 420 mascot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, Harley, how's it going? There we go on that one. I like this side facing forward better. Chunk it in the done bucket. All right. So now I feel like I need to get some, some chain mail anklets made. Because we have these hand flowers. My gosh, y'all, look at what all Randy got done yesterday. He is just just a power, a powerhouse of chain mail. Hey, Lori, says I'm late to the party. What are you making? Well, we just finished up a whole mess of these, but there they are in our done bucket. I want it full, <laughs> but we're split between, I'm keeping them from mixing them, but these are all the ear cuffs I've made so far this week. So it's like a bunch. Um, but we're making ear cuffs, or we're making ear cuffs. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from wire wrapping and we're gonna weave some chain mail. Hey, Sandy. I told him it was a social experiment. <laughs> if you put it on the teleprompter, I'll read it. <laughs> oh, that one looks a little off center, but that's okay. Let me do a count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There we go. So that's too, too many. So we'll just open that up real quick. Man, he Randy does such good closures, it's hard to find them. There we go. And now I'm going to wiggle that shut. Boom, boom. If you build it, they will come. <laughs> Okay, paying attention, Jill has to recharge. Nice, Al, you're being so productive. When's your next vending event? Like, do you have a little bit of town downtime or are you cramming? Okay, but yeah, Randy's an absolute boss and trooper. So I'm gonna set those off to the side. I'm just gonna take my mic off for just a little bit. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm going to uh, probably chug my coffee and I'll have another cup in like an hour, but I'll be right back. Oil change.
All right, y'all, I am back. Let me go ahead and get my mic clamped back to my shirt. There we go. All right, let's see. Oh, hey, Johnny. Lisa says, hi, everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. We are. We are having a good day. Oh, Amanda says, I just paused one of your videos to catch the live. It's like Crafters Anonymous, only the reverse effect. <laughs> In crafter enablers. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, Strings. Says Vaughn's calendar says she isn't on today. Wasn't expecting it. Right on. Well, I'm glad you were able to make it. <laughs> so we are going to make some anklets and I typically like to make anklets at like nine inches long so let's see if we can't oof that's gonna be a lot of chain mail but okay I'm gonna grab a bag for a bag of rings because we're gonna be doing these out of 18 gauge 3 sixteenths inch rings. And these are from Chainmail Joe. Oof, Box says turn off the wind, 43, but feels like 28. May need to turn the heat back on, oh goodness. Yeah, it's, I'm, glad, I'm glad we got the heater on. I didn't realize how cold I was getting. What video were you watching, Amanda? What are you learning today? Oh, come on, fingers. There we go. So I don't know how many units I'm going to need. So these are the 18 gauge 3 16 and I'm going to be setting them up just in rows of 10, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 scooch that over. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lydia says, I was into live, knock at door, said, hold on, got the door, but no one made package on front step. Ah, the steamer basket, power garlic and liquid smoke, being big to get grill and meat flavor without meat. Right on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and, five, and ten. So I'm wondering if which one weaves faster, like. Because the two weaves that I'm going to be doing are the European four in one um, and half Persian three in one, like for the base of the anklets, as well as I think I'm going to do some with like mechanized chain. Or actually, that's what we'll do is we'll do some as a two, like a one two chain. So kind of like a Japanese weave where you have a large ring laying flat 
and then two smaller rings connecting them together into a chain. Camille says it's raining here. I like the sound of spring springing. Oh, that sounds so nice. All right on. Amanda says an older wire wrapping tutorial. I practiced a little bit using recycled wire. I'm about to try with actual para wire. Excited to see the difference. Oh, let me know how it goes because para wire is nice. I'm not gonna lie. Like I so enjoy using using their wire. Elsa's half Persian is my chainmail nemesis. Well, maybe we can be helpful to you. This is kind of a small ring size for demonstrating on, but I'll do my best. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's go ahead and do, I'm going to set myself up 50, just because that's a nice round number. And that way, if it's too many, I'm already ahead for the next one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, hey, Brenda, how's it going? So, oh, fun, Chain Mail, I totally forgot you were live today. And hey, everyone. Well, typically we do um, Lamport glass today on Saturdays, but we are out of gas. And so I figured, well, I need inventory, so we're going to be crafting. Um, three, four, and I figure since I'm not juggling molten glass in the torch that I could dual stream. So that's why we're on YouTube and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we get to stretch our hands a little bit. Oh, stretch our shoulders a little bit too. And we get to work on the closed rings. So I'm going to do 50 closed rings, but there's going to be two on the first one and none on the last one. Just because I like the way that that binds off the ends. And so I'm just setting up our units here. And this is my preferred way of weaving this. Oh, that closure wasn't very good. There we go. Lydia says, although I love your glass classes, my favorite is wire wrapping tutorials. <laughs> right on. My favorite is doing a little bit of everything. So I'm glad that we all get to do that. Well, this will be good for the ones who can't watch your lives during the week and like delay making. I think you're right, Brenda. And I'm considering that we may um, swap torch work to Tuesdays instead of Saturdays. Um, but we'll have to see. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed that we set a schedule back in like, you know, January and that we've been more or less maintaining that schedule until you know our first big milestone of the year, and that's Anime St. Louis. So uh, I'm not surprised at all that we're going to be shifting the schedule just a little bit, because like our friend who used to come and help us on Mondays to ship now needs to come on Sundays to ship. So um, to work with his work schedule, and so everything's always constantly evolving and shifting around. And truly, I absolutely delight in that. I love rolling with the punches and just trying things that are different. And it's like, and but I also like having a plan and committing to it. So I don't mind kind of reestablishing our plan and our schedule kind of quarterly um, throughout the year. I do try to maintain, you know, some semblance of consistency. Um, but all things in their season. But 
but I think the worst thing I can do is force myself to adhere to something that suited me from four months ago. Did the ad strike and distract Vaughn? I hope she didn't try to chug her coffee. Oh, I'm right here, Cat and Cauldron. I'm back. <laughs> oh, I would miss the live for torch work if it's on. Oh, okay, right on, Becca. <clears throat> Ooh, congratulations for getting to level two. Well, we'll get it figured out. Oh no, Cat and Cauldron had it paused. <laughs> right on. And who knows, we may keep things spicy and just alternate it. Fortunately, that's not a decision I have to make today. Today, I have to make change. Do, 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 do. Oh, we do as it says, what do the levels mean? I hit level one today. Oh, congrats on level one. I don't know. It's something that Randy set up for me um, in the chat over on Kick. Um, and I think we're going to like give something away to the first person who reaches level 10. Those breaking pins are ticking me off and stressing me, so I'm working on something else today. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Strings. But uh, the levels are, it's just kind of a way of tracking like chat engagement. Um, and the only stipulation on that is that, um, you know, somebody, it, if a person like comes in and is just like blatantly spamming, that's not going to qualify. Um, free stuff. Now I have to talk more. <laughs> now, Randy and I haven't decided um, what it's going to be because I don't know how long it's going to take people to get to level 10. And it's just to the, the first person to reach level 10, not to every person. Oh, I don't know if we might, we might see. We don't know. <laughs> We're not there yet. Uh, hey, Itzy. Itzy says, hi, Vaughn. Sorry, I might have been recording. It's getting there. I've got most of the filigree on the crest done. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's so cool, Itzy. Strings, are you okay? Bragging rights are cool also. That's true. That's true. But we like to reward y'all. Uh, stressed out, to be honest. Okay. Hey, Kasili, how's it going? It says, ooh, a live for jewelry making on a Saturday? Just finished a genealogy class and now a crafting live. This is a great Saturday. Right on. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us and have a good day. Just kind of crafting and hanging out together. Hey, Kat, how's it going? Wow, that does sound like a lot, Strings. Be sure to give yourself some grace. Maybe you do, you know, half production on each or just do what you can. Raking ourselves across the coals and beating ourselves up over stuff doesn't always help. And now we're on the last one, and now this is the fun part. Normally, Randy does this part, 
<laughs> the setting up all of the rings. Oh, well, that's cool, Camille. Oh, the breaking pins. Okay, I, I remember now the breaking head pins. I had no idea what you were talking about. So now we're going to pick up this first ring with the two closed on it. Hey, crafty lady. How are you doing today? And we're going to close it. Now we do have less blurry versions of this tutorial on our YouTube channel that you can find just by typing in HP3-1, which is short for half Persian three in one. And it will guide you through like a HP3-1, uh, either Yvonne or Back to Earth Creations. So I'm gonna back up a little bit. So we have these rings right here like this and we I stack them one kind of behind the other. This is one in front of the other. I'm gonna do one behind it, just because this is how I leave it. There are other folks who probably leave it differently, but it's all about the end result. All uh, right on, Crafty Lady says, I'm doing wonderfully. It's Leah James, I'm Crafty Lady over here on Kick. Right on. I still, I just read people's screen names more often than not. I hope, I, I hope y'all are understanding about that. And so I've hooked through those two blurry blurry rings there we go so i'm gonna what on earth is happening and then i'm going to take this ring and i'm going to tuck it behind i am sorry about the blurriness but it's gonna be what it is oh okay gotcha crafty lady says no i completely understand i just wanted you to connect the two well thank you for that it does help me. So I've hooked through this one and I'm going to take this and hook it up and over, kind of like just hanging it over it. And then I'm going to close it. I'm going to hold on to this. I can see why this is your nemesis. <laughs> half version three in one is a, is a nightmare. Joe says half version four in one is a nightmare to get started, but once it's going, it's pretty straightforward. That's true for both of the half version weaves. I love the full Persian. Though I've only ever done a full Persian six in one. I don't know if there's like an eight in one that's like a half Persian. Huh. I don't know. I kind of learned just like a couple of weaves and then just like did those for the past ever since we learned. Um, so it was about time for me to learn a new chainmail weave, I think. Not today. Get an inventory. I'm trying to focus on making inventory today. Uh, hey, Quiet Space. How's it going? says, hi there, sorry I did not know you were live today. Yeah, we usually live stream um, on Just Kick on Saturdays for Lampwork Glass, but I was thinking, well, first we were out of oxygen, so we're not able to uh, run the torch today. I understand your stressed strings, but, um, Please check your tone. You're coming across as kind of bossy, and I don't appreciate being told what to do. Yeah, we made some ear cuffs earlier today. Now I'm working on anklets because we have zero anklets in stock. And this one's going to be a prototype that I'm going to have um, Randy make me a bunch of bases for. He's been staying very busy making these chainmail hand flowers. And so we're gonna do some that are just this base weave of the half Persian three in one. We're going to do some that are the European four in one. And we're going to do some that are just like, it's one flat chain with like the large rings would be laying this way. And then the small rings would be kind of on the vertical axis. Um, connecting them together and that'll give us something nice and sleek and simple to hang the uh, the charms and bells and coins and things off of to make nice little jangly anklets. We might do some with Mobius flowers hanging down. So we're going to start with just the three very basic just to get because again we have 
zero anklets in stock currently. So I'm going to try to set up um, 10 different designs and we're going to make five of each of those designs is going to be our production goal. But we're going to start with just the three. <laughs> so I'm going to get three knocked out because we can probably get that done today if Randy and I are weaving on it together. And he needs to go get, uh, he'll be going and getting our niece from work at, I don't know what time. He knows what time though. And after that, I think he'll be helping me with crafting. And then shipping, because we're doing shipping today. Oof, as well. Oh, I never did get the kiln loaded. I'm going to need to go and spray molds here in a little bit, I think. Uh, hey, Jean. Jean says, did you get the ear cuffs done last night? I did not. I just got them finished uh, this morning, like in the past, like, 20 minutes or so. Viking says, just printed my first set of price codes. Ooh, and they work. Ooh, one step closer to being brave enough to try and sell something. Oh, Viking, you're doing so good. Laura says, I literally just cleared the pile on my desk and found a small section of half Persian foreign one that I had been fighting with since last year. Oh, no. <laughs> Burn it? Or rehide it in a different pile or I get completely distracted from what you're doing and work on it again four in one's tricky for me personally Ooh, quiet space says asks what type of jewelry sells best of um, jewelry do you sell best of necklace or earrings or bracelets um that's very difficult to gauge because it seems to it seems to vary by event and by year. Um, so we've always aimed for trying to have some of all of them. If there's if there's an appendage that we can display jewelry that goes on it, so like the hand flowers, the foot flowers, the ears, you know, uh, we have some head displays and I like to do circlets and stuff. Um, so we try to we try to make a little bit of something for everybody. But then what's been, hmm, what's been most effective for us, I think, has been having a varied price point within each of those different product lines. So it's like, it's just tricky because then sometimes we'll be selling a lot of big items and sometimes we'll only be selling, you know, our uh, lower price point items. That's interesting. You say that is the same here in the UK. All right on. But yeah, it's just, it's just tricky. Because, you know, fashions and trends and things come and go as well. And, you know, it's just, it's just tricky. Laura says, it is sitting off to my right. And I've told myself I can't touch it until I'm finished both desks. That's a good, that's a good reward. My goal is to get finished before your stream is done. Right on. Well, we've got, we're streaming until 5 p.m. today and it is 1.44 my time. So. All right, Aunt Jean says, hey, Vaughn, if I ever come across as bossy, please forgive me. I never intend to be. I do try to say please. If I feel pushed at all, I say something. That's, I owe that to y'all as, because I feel like we're friends. We're digital friends, but it's, if, I don't want people to feel like they have to walk on eggshells around me. So it's, I do appreciate, you know, that we are online. So if, you know, it, it is always good to stick to our manners because you never know how tone might translate. And apparently I don't understand sarcasm well. Like it doesn't always come through for me. Um, but it's as soon as I feel pushed, I say something. I'm not mad ever. But thank you for saying something. But I will still keep speaking up for my boundaries. Just to remind you all. Because sometimes... Sometimes I'm grumpy and rude and everybody's entitled to their days, but I also have the right to get to say something if people are being bossy. <laughs> but I appreciate y'all so much. Right on, I get that. And again, all I can do is just bring attention to it. Camille says, I have too many different price points because I make like everything, ADHD, artist, hamster stuff. 
That sounds like a complete win, though. You have a very diversified price point, something for every budget. Quiet spaces, I don't, I find, okay, I missed some comments. Okay. Um, Lydia says, just had brunch. Ooh, it's brunch, but was tofu with impossible steak tips, all vegan, and added sriracha sauce. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> Flames coming from your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up grouchy and sometimes I let him sleep. Oh, Jean. <laughs> yeah, there's before coffee Vaughn and then there's after coffee Vaughn and then there's the coffee wore off Vaughn. So, like, again, everything's fine. Um, then we have big doom piles. <laughs> You've been doing spinning around wanting to figure that out. Oh, okay, Lil Sprite says, I tried the chain mail. And just confused myself. I think I'll leave it to y'all and buy it already made. That's fair. Every chain mailer needs someone who needs to buy chain mail. <laughs> I may need more than 50. We'll have to see how this comes along. Can you? Oh, hey, Erica. How's it going? I hope you're having a good day. Camille says, I've been painting, which also makes me draw, and trees. Nice. Oh, Becca says, how many subs did you finally end up with yesterday? Um, I think it was a total of 42 gifted subs, which is amazing. Like, thank you guys so much for that. Like, that was just, it was very, it was very encouraging. Like, whew. so, like, and it really, it, it, it touched and warmed the bitter cockles of my heart. <laughs> so I found that Lambert beads I got from you. Ah! Cleaning equals treasure hunt. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Amanda says, have I mentioned that I got my first Factor Earth Creations order delivered? Your cabs do not disappoint. Oh, oh, that's so good to hear, Amanda. If y'all haven't ordered, you need to. Ah! <laughs> well, thank you. Jean says, this is the first time I've caught it live on Saturday, but I'm on YouTube. This is the first time we've dual streamed to YouTube on a Saturday, because normally on Saturdays, I'm doing Lamport Glass. And I cannot keep up with two sets of chat whenever I'm doing lamp work glass. Like, I really wish there were a way, and we'll, we'll get it figured out. Um, I really wish there were a way that I could view, because I can, I can view it, the comments on the screen, but I can't scroll. Uh, so I have to have, like, a kick window and a YouTube window pulled up. Um, and that's just, it's a little too much for if I'm not in front of, like, a computer. Ooh, Jean says, I want some of your lampwork beads, but do not know what to make with them. Good news! We have tutorials coming. Like, um, oh, they, they incorporate really well, I think, the, neck, uh, the beads do into... Let me finish this, and I'll show you all some different pieces that utilize our lampwork glass beads. Because currently, I'm really into making rondels, um, which are like... Hey, Simply Glasses chatbot helps. Reads your chat so you don't have to look. Oh, that'd be nice. What if like a bunch of people are saying things all at once though? Like, because I kind of need like a, uh, I get overwhelmed pretty easily, but I'll have to check that out simply. My worry with it is that like, I won't be able to answer comments in between the comments, if that makes sense. And then I'll like lose track of them and I'll have to go back and, and read and then what if somebody comes in and they say because we get trolls sometimes who say really rude things um and i like to not have to hear what they're saying um because i so totally need drawing software like there is but i'm not super poor so i'd have to be free gotcha well i think there's um gosh gimp is free isn't it isn't that like a the penguin version of um Adobe. Photoshop by Adobe. Oh no, Jean. Okay, so let's see. Whale. Well, 
crepe. I really do like this petite half Persian three in one. So it looks like we need one, two, three, four, five. Let's do seven more. Because that's like, this is way too small for an anklet. I think I'm going to do a whole nother 10. So this is going to be 60 units is what I'll need Randy to do on this one. So before I do more rings, this necklace that I'm currently wearing, I think is a great example of how to incorporate the rondel beads, which are like narrow but big, um, just as a focal point for an inline necklace. This is one of the ways that I've been doing them. And I just make them to a base length. And then I add some chain in the clasps and some more chain for if I decide that I wanna wear it a little longer. And this is just strung with some of that beading cable. Hey, Michelle, how's it going? Said, hey, y'all, been lurking for about an hour, was driving. Ooh, welcome home. How are you feeling? Oh, simply says you can ban words in the box so it won't say anything you don't want. Nice. <laughs> oh, little Sprite says, gotta say I'm addicted to back to earth's cabs and jewelry. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I am here to enable that. <laughs> as long as you're having fun. Uh, it's strung with this stuff. Beading cable or bead stringing wire. It, depending on the manufacturer, I've heard it called a bunch of stuff, but it's like this nylon coated. This one's seven strands. The 42 strand stuff is nice, but expensive. Um, so I use this and sometimes I'll use like two strands of it. And this is the 0.46 millimeter. But it's nice and flexible and it's what it's what I've been using in all of my strong necklaces for years. So yeah, Procreate is a good drawing app on oh I didn't know it was on laptops. But that's what I use on um oh what you call it? Yeah, my tablet. It is like Tiger Tail, I think, where it's like multiple thin steel strands like coil roped together um tail says i used to pay 60 dollars a month for the whole adobe package um my bank account says <laughs> right on well gimp might be a good alternative for you then Kisley says did you know you can get a masking tape from the home repair store that have ruler measurements <gasps> i did not know that you can put it on the edges of surfaces so you don't need to pull out a ruler. Oh my goodness, that would be so nice. So those are all strung on that beading wire. Mm -hmm. Just strung right on through and I use crimp beads on the ends. And then here we have, I'd like to start selling sets of beads where we can do like custom. So these are just all of them strung together with the larger beads in between. And that's a good representation of all the different sizes that we can do from the five millimeter by 10 millimeter up to the 11 by seven or the, eh, yeah, like 11 by 17. So it's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 by 17, maybe. We'll see. And then we also have this style of necklaces here that are done in that inline herringbone. I really like the rondels with them. And this has memory wire as the core. So it's nice and boingy. <laughs> boing, boing. Oh, well, thank you, Star. But these are all different ways that y'all could utilize any lampwork glass beads into your jewelry because sometimes um, the handmade nature of them, a lot of them that I make have very large holes, like even the 1 16th inch. Is it expensive, the software? No, it's free free <laughs> like like gimp it's the the lennox people like the little penguin folks at least last i was aware it is and then this one they're a little bit more spaced out with some other beads but yeah since since the holes of them can be large i just use like spacer beads to kind of fill in the end and they're super durable thank goodness <laughs> oh well thank you guys oh well shucks y'all thank you i'm glad you like it i love getting to make them and this one one of my favorite things is getting to do a collab with mother nature 
Um, so these are azurite malachite beads in between a white emerald green. And then I had used some of the faceted glass that I had gotten in a Potomac bead box um, strung along the neckline. And it's just a really nice, like dummy fit, fun necklace. But I love the glass and gemstones together. So yeah, hopefully that was a little helpful to you on how you might be able to incorporate um, some lampwork glass beads into your jewelry. Yeah, not just mine, but like any, you know, lampwork glass beads, because they can be, they can tend to be in particular shapes. Hmm. Uh, malachite is green. These are uh, azurite. But the strand that I had gotten them from was is azurite malachite. So some of the stones, I can actually show you. They're right here because I had used some to do these wire elf ears as well. So you can see how the malachite green and the azurite blue is modeled together. Like kind of just calico blended. And so here in the bead tray, you can see um, maybe how there's some of them are more green and some of them are more blue. So I just picked out the ones that were more blue. What are the best crimp beads to use? They seem to just slide off or crumble from me, um, for me. I like, let me pull up the link because it makes such a big difference. I'm searching on Fire Mountain Gems. I like Fire Mountain Gems because they are very transparent about, they don't just say plated alloy most of the time. Like they'll, they'll at least specify if it's lead free. Now that being said, I haven't bought anything from them in years because money. Um, let's see, um, crimp bead. Now this is something I've not seen before. It's a screw tight crimp. So I personally do enjoy tube crimp beads. So I'm going to type in tube crimp bead. And let's see, I'm not going to be able to pay attention to chat for a little bit, but I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click over here. And so I've typed in tube crimp bead, you can see right there. And I like the ones that are like this. Crimp sterling silver, they're gonna be expensive. A package of 10 of them for 419, that's okay though. But I like they're plated. So you can actually come over here, copper plated. Copper is nice and soft and I love it. So oftentimes I might go with a copper or I might go with a brass. Just, oh, now those ones, those are gonna be kind of, okay, never mind on the black, on the brass. Okay, oh, I love Terra Cast stuff. They're a little expensive, but I love it. Um, let's see, let's remove any of the, those. And I'm gonna click on 96 because I wanna see all of them. Um, Load the pictures faster, computer. There we go. Um, ooh, copper plated brass, pack of a hundred. That's what I'm talking about. But the brass is, brass and copper are nice and supple. And oftentimes what I'll do is I'll just get a crimp bead that works well for me. Ooh, sterling silver filled. That's not so bad. Pack of a hundred. Crimp sterling silver. Ooh, gunmetal plated brass. So yeah, these ones, these will be okay. Sometimes the uh, plating will come off, but whichever, yeah, and pay attention to the sizes too, because sometimes that can really make a big difference. Like this one, four by three millimeter, that's uh, kind of massive. So I tend to like to use, where are they? A two millimeter is probably the largest that I like to use most of the time. So like a three by two, or a two by two, which I don't really see any of those. 1.6, that's gonna be quite a feat. Um, but yeah, a two millimeter. So let's just say, boom, 100% crimp. 
crimp copper two millimeter seamless 1.2 inside diameter sold per package of 100 this is the one i would go with hondo percento and so and here you can see more zoomed in and the what i do then is i'll come up here and i'll type in crimp cover if if this is helpful to any of y'all and you're watching on youtube i would appreciate if you tickled my like button it helps the channel and we're experimenting with getting people to tickle it yeah heck you could tickle the dislike button i think it's the algorithm just pays attention to engagement so here these are crimp covers so those other crimp beads that we were looking at that are just like copper toned you can get one kind of crimp and use it in everything and then just use these different crimp covers to give it that nice look or i even like to use um and now you'll want to pay attention to the size of the crimp beads on these ones too because i usually like to get a three or four millimeter here they are. There's the four millimeter. Oh, and stainless steel. I love that. Pack of a hundred for 10 bucks. I can dig it. Stainless steel five millimeter. Now these ones, you know, they can be kind of messy to like crimp down. So we're going to go over here to Amazon. And we're going to type in lolly beads. And here they are. And this is the pack that these have a large hole. Um, <laughs> it doesn't specify that they have a large hole, but in my experience, the, oh, let me click on it. These ones here, like it's a two, three, picture is not accurate to what actually comes in the container. Okay, so it's a two, three, four, five, and six millimeter bead. Um, yeah, this is a great picture. And you can see how large the hole is. I like using the four millimeter of these because they are seamless um, to just slip over the tip of a crimp bead. And so I hope that's helpful to you guys. Yeah, I love the lolly beads as well. Some folks have trouble with them like oxidizing. Those things just happen sometimes. Um, it is what it is, but it's on the end of the necklace, the back of the necklace, and it's smooth. And uh, yeah, oh, oh, anytime, Rebecca. I'm glad to be helpful to y'all. Hey, Saki, happy Saturday to you. Yeah, String says crimp beads are dependent on the size of the beading wire you're using. That is true. Uh, typically, in the advice that I'm giving on the crimp beads is based off of the tiger tail or bead along type beading cable, bead stringing wire um, stuff. So, ah, oh, thank you so much, Rebecca. Oh, I appreciate that tremendously. Oh, high five. <laughs> Camille says, I made a buttload of strong gemstone necklaces and I literally bought the exact things on Fire Mountain. Boom, that's very validating. <laughs> Yes, the crimp covers come in different colors and the lolly beads come in different colors. I really like their platinum as opposed to their silver because this one looks a little more like the titanium toned para wire and it matches stainless steel really well. All right, back to work. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm out of Wawa. I'll be right back, y'all. Be right to be.
Alrighty, y'all. I am back. Refilled Wawa. Clamping the microphone on. Oh, String says, I meant if you're using 7 strand, 28 strand, 49 strand, need different size crimps. Yes, that is a good point. So here, well, okay, let me see if I can find one. So like this one here, how it says 0.3 millimeter. So that would be... Saki! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, and there's quiet space. Oh, heck. <laughs> wow, quiet space says, love what you do and how you do it. You're an inspiration, Vaughn. Keep on being you, lovely. Oh, anytime. <laughs> like, thank you, guys. Christina says, pretty and purple today. Well, thank you. I found this, like, in the back of my closet, and I was like... And it still fits, so I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> time to go. Got to wear purple later. Going to wear purple later for a potluck. Oh, nice. Just listening while I frame art before hanging and redecorating. Oh, it's so good to see you, Christina. Oh, thank you so much, Saki. Oh, my God. When it rains, it pours, y'all. Um, and to go back to what we were saying, so whenever this is folded over, um, it will be 0.6 of a millimeter, the two lengths of it. Now granted, this is a, comparable to the seven strand, which is 0.46 of a millimeter. So um, I really like this one for like whenever I have beads with like tiny, tiny holes. Um, but the two millimeter crimp beads, the ones that I showed, I've used successfully on all of those sizes. But you just wanna make sure that um, you know, if you have like a one millimeter cable, you know, that it, it might not fit through, you know, whenever it's folded over in half. So that's a good point to bring up. Thank you. Oh, you know, I'm getting hungry because I'm like, well, you're wearing purple to the potluck, but what are you bringing? <laughs> so because I'm, I'm getting hungry for my snack. We do this so Saki girl. I've never been able to get the subscription function to work on my computer. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> I am on a roll, Jenny. I feel like y'all are on a roll, and I'm just butter. Like, <laughs> so we're doing ten more. Oof. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now I'm going to close ten. Actually, I'm going to do yes. So we had finished it doing one open with no closed on it. So I've gone ahead and added that one to the end. And that's the one that we'd just tuck behind right there to continue to weave. And now we're going to do uh, nine more closed and then none on the last one. Two, three, four, Saki girl says, so what are we making, Vaughn? We are making an anklet. I needed to prototype this out so I know what to, to ask Grandy to make. Because um, we're going to have five in the style. Ah, oh my God, organic. Thank you so much, Lydia. Lydia says, thank you, friend, for your help and tutorials. An awesome bubbly personality. Oh, Lydia. I love your channel and all you teach and share, Vaughn. As always, you're stellar. Mwah. Thank you so much. Like, holy smokes, y'all. Oh my gosh, ow. <laughs> he says, well, I have drilled 60 bears today. That is a lot of drilling, sir. Is the hand drill still holding up? Hey, Jennifer, how are you doing? What am I gonna have for a snack today? I've got some pork chops defrosted in the fridge, but I don't think we can stop crafting and go make pork chops. Oh, it's working good? That's good.
got a jar of pickles. I can use some pickles. All I've got in my house right now is ingredients. Like, oh, quiet says, see, Vaughn, we all love you because you're real. You can see me? No. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm blessed to be on measure. Thank all of y'all. So now I'm going to tuck that behind and then weave this through. Get a chicken outside. Just weaving that through and then tucking it behind. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, well, thank you, Saki. Saki, you're amazing, Vaughn. Oh, y'all gonna make my head so big <laughs> and so blessed for all you do for us. Y'all are the blessing, I'm just saying. Um, I am accepting the compliment, but also. I'm the lucky one here. I'm just going to say, I'm lucky that I have y'all. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Beck is crafting chaos, causes chaos again. Well, we really are trying our best, so I appreciate you guys. I'm excited for what's on the horizon. I think if we do well enough at Anime St. Louis, we're going to be able to hire this fellow to redesign our website. He's someone who works like not for Wix, but in collaboration with Wix as like one of their official website redesigner people. Um, right? Michelle says you have brought all of us together. And that's been, gosh, I'm so looking forward to that. Laura, we figured, we set the dates and booked the place for the next camp along. Um, it is Devil's Den State Park, September 26th through 28th. Um, we finally got the date set, and I am looking forward to it, like, so, so much. <laughs> Rebecca says, wasn't sure I could contribute on both platforms. Stickers are new to me. Right on. Well, thank you. Randy made po' boys for breakfast. I was supposed to make pancakes, but I keep getting sidetracked. I'm making an anklet. And we've just added the last ring. And I'd like it to be nine inches. I think I might have to whip my feet out. Yeah, it's nine inches. All right, guys. Don't make it weird. <laughs> I am going to try it on with the sock on, though. Yes, nine inches. That's good. And then we're going to do an inch of extender chain. There we go. <laughs> All right. I keep taking my hair down because those clips give me a headache. But also, then I'm like, eh, that my hair is touching my neck. <laughs> so here we go there we go again all right so now now I know how many rings to oh no Jenny says I'm struggling to enjoy your live stream my internet is in its stop and start mode oh no I'm missing every other comment it's so frustrating I'm so sorry that you're experiencing that Jenny is it is it just something with your internet or is it something here on YouTube or or uh, on kick though we are streaming to YouTube as well maybe that one will be coming through clearer for you but yeah so the way that I the way that I finish these is we have some of these stainless steel lobster claw clasps that I just get them off of Amazon Tasha says, so sorry, I just got back from making a smoothie. Did you say around nine inches makes for a good anklet size? In general, I add, I always add about an inch or two of extender chain on it. So, and it's like, cause ankles, <laughs> I've made anklets up to 15 inches before. And, uh, and that was for a person who, cause the nice thing is, is they're adjustable. So you can hook them anywhere along the chain. And the person wanted to be able to wear it over like their biker baby boots as well. So, you know, it's it's kind of shooting in the dark. I'm just trying. Um, so sometimes nine inches is a good starter size. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, well, you're doing so good, Lydia. So I just put a ring through the end there and through a lobster claw. And now here off of this end, let's do one, two, yeah, three, four, five. So there's five rings open. And then we're going to go, there's one. Ah, uh, because, you know, we could say Torchwork Tuesday. It's just, I love the repetition of the T's. Yeah, so we might, we may start doing Torchwork on Tuesdays. Or some Tuesdays. I don't know. Just, I like the way it rolls off the tongue. Can somebody explain to me about what subs and leveling up, as well as the diamonds mean? Um, the subscriptions on Kick, uh, to follow on Kick is free. And you'll get notifications sent to you by the app or, you know, emailed to you if that's your preference. You can modify that in your settings. Um, I think the diamond is to indicate that you are a subscriber. Um, the badge with a, like a one that you'll see in front of Tasha's or Sisters of the Hook is she was one of our founding members over here on Kick. So she became a, so she gets the fancy badge. Um, and then uh, to subscribe to us on Kick, since there aren't any ads, that's how it's kind of like if, if we treat this like we're busking, but instead of playing music, I'm crafting and like jibber jabbering at you, um, like an angry squirrel in a tree. And so it's a way of, of tipping me basically here on the channel and helping to support the business um, in everything that we do here at Back to Earth Creations. And so that's what the subscription is. Um, and it's, I think it's like $4.99 or something. I'm not entirely certain. Struts the fence a bad strut. Don't mind me. I'm just over here. <clears throat> this is Tasher's. <laughs> but, um, it's in no way mandatory or anything like that. We don't provide anything, uh, in exchange for it, except for our undying gratitude. Um, but it, it is an option there if y'all are interested in it. And so that's how many 10 rings just gets off the end. And so it would hook. Oh, well, thank you, L. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Life. Or Julia. Okay, My Life by Julia in real life. Cool channel name. So you could just hook around. And that way it has a fun little bit of extender chain. And sometimes we'll put like a cute little charm or something there on the end. Now this one, can I be a non-founding person? 100% Jean. <laughs> you all already are. No, you've been here for years, Jean. Like a freaking decade or something. Yay, home to catch some streaming. Hey, Sarah. Ah, oh, Becca, thank you so much. Oh, to Jackie. <laughs> Lil Sprite says, I love the idea of a chainmail anklet. Now, this is just the base. I'm making them kind of belly dancey because I've started doing my walking workouts in the morning with my shimmy belt on, which is like this like coin belt scarf. And I like super duper am back into belly dance now. I'm like, I want to do it every day for the rest of my life. And so I need to make some jingle jangly anklets that aren't just cheap, turn your ankle green, itchy, coins are going to fall off. Let me, let me count the ways. Um, there we go. And uh, so I'm going to make some jingle jangly anklets. This weave is a half Persian three in one. And I like it because well, it's lifted away from the skin whenever you wear it. Like it's, it's like a half round uh, chain. So it does have that flat side. And it's the same weave that I like to use for whenever we are setting chainmail bezels. Because that little trough kind of just holds onto the edges. Another gifted sub. I know this is, I'm hoping that y'all have broken the dams in that just abundance and success 
and hard work paying off. I hope that just keeps flowing because y'all y'all seem to have pulled the cork. So thank you guys. <laughs> this is aluminum. It's nice and lightweight. It can leave a little bit of a gray residue, but I've not done any tumbling or anything on it yet. <laughs> Little Sprite says, ooh, even better, right? So yeah, jingle jangly. So I don't know what the density is going to be, though. In the key to getting a good jingle jangle is to have the stuff be touching each other. And that sounds weird, but what I mean by that is... Um, um, we could do it just entirely out of Celtic trees. Let me see. So, ooh, we've got some of these coins. Those will maybe get used up. Because some of them sound kind of cheap and tinny, which can be nice if used in conjunction with other things. We used to go through, Randy had used a little hand punch and punched a bunch of pennies because it was just less expensive than buying the coins. Here we go. Now I really like these as well. There's those ones, and then all of these guys. Which these ones will have something hanging down off of them, or we can trim the second loop off. And then these ones are actually soldered genuine currency. Now I'm not entirely certain what currency they are. I bought them off of eBay back in like 2009. But they're beautiful. I love them. And they've got a nice weight to them. So nice jingle jangle. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Ooh, and one of my other favorite things to do is we can do just some gears. I'm not going to do anything spiky because I don't want it getting like tangled. Like I still want, I want our stuff to be cool and fun to wear. But I also need it to be very comfortable. And pokey stuff on your Ankies is not comfy. Did I already look in this one? I 100% already looked in this one. Eh. This is how I hurt my hand. Is <laughs> Karen lugging these? Ooh, and then we've got these guys. Okay, but the holes aren't big enough. And then this is another. Am I not even in? I'm hardly in frame. Okay. We're getting messy today. Oh, we've got some nice little Celtic knots. But these mixed gear charm packs are some of my favorites. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a big old handful. Oof. Yeah, there's a lot of them in here. Oh, that one's so cute. Beep. Oh, like some of them have like little hearts. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that in an anklet. Because, like, some of the stuff that might look a little cheaper, because sometimes, like, these plated gold ones, I just think they look a little cheap sometimes. Um, any of them with the, like, and I think it's, I love them in the sunlight, but whenever we're in a convention and it's all that fluorescent lighting, I, I don't personally like the way that this yellow stuff looks. Um... And it doesn't particularly sell well for us out of our booth. Now, that is just my own experience. But on it, like something like an anklet is a great place to use. Um, well, gosh, all of these have little pokey edges. All right. Back into the tray with you. Do we have some over in here? Nope. All pokey edges. Okay, good to know. Do well, this is a perfectly good start. Ooh, Sarah. Oh, Jennifer says that's a lot for a nine inch chain. When I say jingly, no, um, this is going to be for a bunch of anklets. So <laughs> the size of the rings on the anklet is... 18 gauge, 3 16 inch. These are the exact rings that I'm using, and they're good. And, and this is the most ring dense of the weaves that we'll be doing. I like to do the harder stuff first. Um, 
Ooh, Julia says, I'm going to be making handmade earrings soon. I just need to buy all the pliers I need. Right on. You could always make the steampunk one. Yes, Donna, I love that. Not at all. Not at all, right? Like, oh my God, you guys, Sarah, thank you. Ooh, and it went to Lisa. Welcome, Lisa. Oh, gosh. I love this cup. It keeps those ice cold. Oh, hey, Erica. I didn't see you come in. How are you doing today, baby Hulk Rage? Right on, Jenny. Jenny says, this internet is so frustrating. I'm so sorry. I'll give up and watch the rerun. Hopefully it does better tomorrow for the Sisters of the Hook craft along. Oh, nice. I'm a ninja. <laughs> this is Erica. <laughs> But uh, some of the other inklets that we do are going to be larger rings just so that they pop out faster. So I kind of want to do a mixed bag. How many do I have of these? We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that'll be enough for three inklets. Ooh, I do have little jingly bells somewhere. <gasps> Ooh, these ones are perfect. This style, I really like. for little jangly anklets. In this one, that's not too pokey, that'll work. But I like the ones with the rounded. But yeah, stuff that, if it's not like my 100% favorite for like up by a face or on like a necklace or something, then I like to use it on an anklet because it's mostly Mostly there for the sound that it's going to make. But yeah, and you can kind of tell by huh, jingling it. And we could do little charms that hang like this as well. So charms make really great, like kind of mixing in. Why do I just have, oh, we found these in a parking lot. <laughs> They're just like ball bearings, like stainless steel ball bearings. I don't know, hashtag horny. Ooh, here's some more. But yeah, whenever I can hear them clank together, clank. Now that's a nifty one. Rummage, rummage, rummage. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking I should start yelling, Jim, Paul. <laughs> We do as it says, apparently I have two unfinished chainmail projects. I just flung one across my area thinking it was just a folded bead mat. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Laura. Uh-oh. Eric says, probably said it already, but what you making? I'm going to make a jangly anklet. So I'm going to try to kind of get it figured out laying everything out together first. Couldn't find the jangly uh, bells that I have, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm gonna be adding rings to these ones. That way they can attach on the same plane so that they lay nice and flat against the skin. 
oh, okay, it's all good. Only a few rings from making Byzantine bits. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> There's that at least. Um, can we wash the rings in Dawn because I don't have a tumbler? Yes, and that works pretty well. Like I like to use like um, a scrub brush and just like start it with like a, an old toothbrush kind of. Um, hey, Mune Mew. Oh my gosh, it has been a long time. <laughs> How are you doing today? And then... So yeah, ideally to get optimal clank, we would have these be like really close together. So I'm going to try to fill in with possibly, because not everybody's into steampunk too, which kind of makes some things trickier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, oh yes, I have some of these bronze rings. that I think I may, maybe not for this one, I need something heavier, like dummy thick. You know, how, ah, there they are. Oops, I'm not tall enough, there we go, okay. Um, some really big nickel silver rings. Here we have some bronze rings, just knocking around loose. Um, doesn't make me nervous at all, let me do this. lid. <laughs> Lids make me happy. Sunshine on your shoulders makes me happy. Sunshine on your shoulders. Ah, and then here we are with some metal pony beads. And these are really great for adding some nice weight and jangle and clank because you want it to have a little bit of weight to it that way when you're uh you're kind of stomping around or dancing you know it, it gives it a little bit of swing to it oh my gosh no not pin message oops <laughs> okay bam there we go Sorry, I goobered that up. Um, <laughs> Whoo wee. Hey, Della, how's it going? Says, hi, Vaughn. I finally get to watch live. You're so inspiring. I save all your videos, and I always go back and watch them over and over. Oh, Della. <laughs> and I've learned so much from you. A big thank you. Oh, I'm so glad to have been helpful to you, Della. Oh, thank you. I'm going to have to wear this one more often. I've gotten so many compliments on it today. Yes, I love a jingly anklet, especially for spring and summer. Whenever we're at the Ren Fair or at a convention and somebody goes by, I always think, you know, something jingly this way comes because it'll be jingle, jingle, jingle coming through. Ah, Walk in the Rain says, some folks like the look and don't know it's steampunk. Cashier at the store thanked me when I commented I liked her steampunk bracelet. She said, thanks for knowing what it is. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Folks are pretty, pretty familiar with it at the convention scene because there's always like at least one specifically steampunk vendor. Like not always the same one, but there's always somebody, even after all this time, who still specializes in steampunk. Ooh, that's true. The lolly beads do jingle jangle. That might be a nice one. Okay, well now that I've pulled out a wonderful buffet of jingly things, I think for this one I'm going to use, I like that, these nickel silver, which is an alloy of, um, is it an alloy of copper and nickel? But it's not nickel plated, it's, so it's like, it's kind of like how stainless steel has a bit of nickel in it. I've also heard it called uh, German silver. Argentin new civil nickel brass. Okay. Is a copper alloy with nickel and often zinc. So it gives it that really nice kind of like a champagne gold almost. Like it's very gentle. Like I love it. It's one of my favorite colors. Um, Okay, 
But uh, again, since it's not plated, I've not had any negative reactions to it. But I also like to only use it for stuff that's like an adornment part that like uh, is dangling off of something as opposed to um, coming in direct contact with the skin. So for these ones, I'm going to make some Mobius flowers. So we're going to do one, two, and the third ring is going to be closed. I am getting hungry, you guys. Oh, I bet Randy's getting hungry, too. He made po' boys for breakfast, and they were delicious. So I think I want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. So we need 30 rings set up. I think the, the color of the nickel silver, or German silver, um, is a really nice bridge between silver and brass tones. Oh, thank you, Lydia. Hey, Nicole, how's it going? Yeah, I'll... Don't... Oh, we did. You, I blocked them. Yeah, you can, you can block trolls on kick. I was just having fun and didn't notice. But uh, don't pay them any mind. They actually, getting a, a troll here and there is actually good for the channel because it increases our unique chatters. So it's so long as they get banned and it just don't don't let them upset you. And then it's, it's nothing but compost. Let's get that closed. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay. So we have the po boys for breakfast, so I don't think I want tuna for lunch. I could reheat a can of beef stew. I think I might do that. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to start a second row. <laughs> well, this is going to sound rude, and I don't mean for it to be, but when a troll comes through, it's like stepping in dog poop. I scrape it off my shoe, and I keep going. I don't get all wrapped up in it. Blazing away again in Yapperville. <laughs> Hmm. Jennifer says, why do you open and then reclose the ones for the closed ring? Okay, so, well, whenever rings, whenever chainmail rings are made, they're usually made in a big coil. And so you can kind of see here how one coil would lead into the next. And then where the saw blade cuts through, so it's like a big spring. And so whenever they come just from the manufacturer or whenever we make our own, they need closed because that's not a proper closure. And you can also see, you may be able to see there's a little bit of a light gap through there. And that's just enough that um, it can snag on things. And so I like to come in and I'm just wiggling it shut and I open it a little bit more because I'm actually applying pressure inwardly with my pliers. And so wiggling it back and forth helps me to close that gap until we get that nice little uh, click. You don't have to get the click. I like to because my eyesight's not what I'd like it to be. Um, and so now that's a nice closed ring, well budded. And then that's why I put it on there. And so I hope that that cleared that up for you. <laughs> Donna says, darn, I just realized how hungry I am. Pop-Tarts to the rescue. Pop-Tarts, Pop-Tarts, Pop-Tarts. 
Oh, I pulled out one ring too many. That's pretty good, though. Let me make one into a Mobius flower and see how that sits because I worry that this is going to be very material dense. So I just close it and then I hook that onto this. That is going to be pretty dense. So I think I'm going to save these for a different one that doesn't have the coins. Because I need it to be a little bit more like medium sized. There we go. Getting that closure closed. Oh, I see. Sorry, I accidentally pinned it. I didn't realize that. Okay, it's cleared out now. Ooh, making cinnamon toast. Nice. Well, but it is a good thing it is. My daughter made homemade bread and I made French toast. Oh my God. With it, it was amazing. That was last night. I don't know what I'm going to eat today. Oh no. Gotcha. Did that take care of it? Gotcha, Jean. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. You no, know, the whole goal is to get uh, trolls blocked and deleted just as quick as I can. I think I accidentally clicked pin. Um, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Ooh, fresh Cinnabons. They do. I think I'm going to have a can of home canned beef stew. And maybe some crackers. Ah, uh, hey, first man. How's it going? It feels like it's been a while. How are you? It says, I guess I missed all the excitement. Oh, it was just a troll. <laughs> that I accidentally pinned the comment so everybody had to look at it. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that'll be nice, strings. Well, don't let the hard days win. You'll get through this stress. A tip I have for anyone who wants it is to get a pair of plus three over-the-counter reading glasses. They zoom in pretty good. Okay. Nice. We're already giving them too much thought, Lydia. Don't worry about it. Right. I'm sorry, Becca. I think it's going to have to be like plasticky cheese, though, because I don't think I have any real cheese in the house. It hasn't already been shredded. Mm, shredded cheese. <laughs> I could just eat pork rinds directly into the microphone for a little while. That's always an option. Ooh, first man says, watching you and looking to get motivated on a cold, rainy day. A rainy, cold day. Ooh. I was thinking about putting the Mobius flowers between the charms, but I'm not committing to anything yet. One of the most fun parts about making a design is getting to experiment with all the different possibilities before... Um, you know, committing to it. Like, it's kind of just fun to sit there and look at the beads. <laughs> so I just wanted to get the components made. That way we can kind of like plan and design it. So I think instead of doing 10 designs with five of each, I think I'm going to do uh, at least three, just because that's how many I have of the 
That's how many I have of the, the big coins. And we've not carried anklets at Anime St. Louis in a while, so I'm not certain how well they'll sell. And First Man says, looks like you're making a belly dance belt or a steampunk thing, which, yes, um, we're making anklets. So, like, they're like belly dance belts for your feet. I'll have a great rest of your day, strings. There we go. And so, but these have a nice little bit of weight to them. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Um, well, these ones, the faux yen, is this? I don't know. It, uh, AliExpress. <laughs> for those ones, for the charms. These ones I got on eBay and they're an actual currency that's been like soldered with a little uh, loop on there. And those ones were pretty expensive, which is why I'm only putting five per anklet. Um, they're kind of the uh, expensive cherries on top. And then these ones were actually part of a different belt that I had gotten off of Fire Mountain Gems. And it was just beautiful. Like they used to sell belly dance belts and we would take them apart to just to salvage the coins because like the jump rings were, were crap but the coins were cute so <laughs> when the night is come and the land is dark and the moon is the only light we'll see. No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just so long as you stand, stand by me. Ooh, Walk in the Rain says, can coins be punched with a tool or is a drill needed? Um, we used to use a little metal punch that was like a hand-screwed metal punch from, from Fire Mountain Gems. Um, and we wore that thing out. Um, uh, hey, Shannon, how's it going? Are you going to put the Mobius flowers in between the charms? Yes, I, I was planning on that, but we're getting that shuffled around. I remember you did a tutorial on Mobius flowers, but rings were smaller. Maybe I'm confused for the roses. Yeah, you can get different effects with, you get much more of a rosette if you use a smaller ring. Um, whereas with the larger one, it makes a little bit of just a big open ring, which I kind of like. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Shannon. I'm enjoying just hanging out. I would drill them unless you have an industrial punch. Yeah, drillings, if you have a solid way of clamping them down, <laughs> drilling's a lot nicer. Uh, L says, I do that with vintage chain belts at thrift stores. Make great components for jewelry. Yep. That's actually, we would go to the the GW Boutique, Goodwill, um, back whenever, when we was in the town we lived in in Tennessee, they had really good prices. So you could get like genuine leather belts for like 50 cents if you went in on the right day when they were having like a sticker sale. Um, and then we would use those leather belts. I'd like cut off the ends and rivet them so that it's like a length instead of having like an obvious belt buckle. And I'd use that as the bank blank for hanging all the like jingle jangles and stuff on. And that's, that was what got me into leather working because whenever Goodwill raised their prices, cause they are like fancy now, I guess, um, I figured it was less expensive to just buy a side of leather and cut my own belt blanks. And that way I was able to do um, more plus size stuff. Cause like I had 50 inch hips at the time. So it was like, I needed 
more belt. <laughs> so, and, uh, um, oh, the level up. Congrats on level one. Um, it's just a way of rewarding folks on kick for chatting. We appreciate y'all. And it's like, it's a race, like, or something. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something to play with. All right, Crafty Lady says, I'm just as confused about the lingo as you are first man. It's okay, you guys. We'll figure it out. Like, I think whenever uh, the first person to get to level 10 um, on kick, I think we're, they're going to get like a prize or something. That's about as far as we've thought about that. Um, but that's okay. And I like the way two jump rings look. I don't know. We've never seen how high somebody can get on a level before. So, so far, I think the highest level is like three or four. First, to get to level 10, you get magical powers of crafting. Yes. I'll shake a chicken at you on live. Like... <laughs> So, so you'll get to see me chase down a chicken and then pick it up and shake it at you. Just a little, though. Like, we only shake them a little for luck. How else are we going to scramble the eggs? Cooked chicken leg, please. Ooh, right on. Grilled or deep fried? Ooh, Michelle says level four. I think I haven't seen a level five yet, right? because i don't know if there's a way for us to be able to like reset the chat levels when somebody reaches level 10 to kind of like restart the race because some folks are going to have you know head starts over others and that way we can kind of like reset it Ooh, kentucky or golden chicken but babes would be best okay i don't think we have a babes around here uh we have a k fried c but they're not very good can it be homemade can it be shake and bake I will shake a shake and bake chicken leg at you if you get to level 10 first. <laughs> Just pet the chicken. They're pretty girls. Okay, that's a good one. I don't know. Nut, uh, Nutmeg kind of likes it when, when you pick her up and shake her. She goes like... Sarah says, got a show tomorrow checking my boxes and just found a bunch of earrings I forgot about. Nice! Bonus earrings! Shaky, shaky, make it. Beggars cannot be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken you get is not the chicken you want. Uh, hey, Shannon. <laughs> I thought I was on the Elphir replay. <laughs> you said my name and I was shocked. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Today we are making um, anklets currently. Do, 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 do. Mm, chicken, yes. <gasps> I have some leftover chicken in the fridge. That's what I'm going to have for my snack. I'm going to eat a chicken thigh. <laughs> it's a garlic garlic and herb chicken thigh chicken thigh chicken thigh hot dog and bologna well good luck at your show tomorrow sarah is it just a one day show I'm not sure how that would work with my fab fashion statement now grunge wear mm. you could make it grungy you could hang like soda tabs and what else is grungy safety pins old sardine cans yes there we go <laughs> Oh, Sarah says, thank you. I've not been to this tomorrow, but two blocks from my work just the one day. Okay. These are like rosettes. It's just a little... A little stack of rings made into a charm. And I really like these just hung as like earrings, or you could do them as the focal point of a necklace. So you could have, you know, a ring going off on each side and then a teardrop coming down. I love the versatility of chainmail. There's no right or wrong way to do any of this. 
all. Well, thank you, Shannon. What kind of crafting have you been up to? Are you a beginner? Or are you an old pro just revisiting? Or Just add some chunky boots and flannel. You got grunge. Pats. <laughs> or just wear it belly dancey and now you have belly grunge. Good. I don't like the way that one sounds. <laughs> so I love Molly. We just got 36 chickens. Oh, wow. Are they all, is it a mixed flock or is it all like the same breed? Because for my egg layers, I keep a mixed flock. But if we were to ever raise meat birds, I think I would stick to a single breed. Rumble, grumble, harumph. Okay, so now I need to see, will these fit through those? Ah, oh, well, thank you, Lydia. They will not. Okay, that answers that question. So next, I'm going to write 36. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to take one of these lolly beads. Oh, yes. I believe this is an 18 gauge, one fourth inch uh, bronze ring. And it fits through pretty nicely through that little lolly bead. And it makes such a cute little charm thing. So I'm gonna make like, I don't know, a hundred of those, I guess. Let's start with 10. Um, <laughs> anytime, little Sprite. <laughs> There we go. Sometimes it's a little tricky getting them through. That okay. Lolly bead, oh lolly bead. I like my lolly wolly beads. Oh, that one fit on. That's nice. I like it when I can actually fit my pliers. But I guess I could use the finer tips. But these, I don't know if these are brass or bronze. I think they're brass. They're a little yellow for the bronze. But either way, they're quite stiff. You should put your playlist online so we can listen to it. I'm not listening to any music right now. <laughs> like I can't even hear the background music that y'all have going. I lost my speaker. It's somewhere in the house. It's just not where it goes. So I gave up. I didn't try very hard, but I gave up quick on that one. These are stepped or tapered flat nose pliers. And I used to get them from Rio Grande, um, dot com, but now they have them on Etsy as well, I think. And I love them. Four. Five. But I agree, I should put it up there. That way y'all can... haven't found them in a while. Let me look again. Right on. There's five. Vaughn, you have a soundtrack in your head. It seems that way, Sarah. Well, it's I heard a new song the other day, and I'm trying to learn the lyrics to it because I just I absolutely love it. And I think I have the chorus down, and it's... Seven black rabbits of high Brazil, 21 petals of daffodils, 13th note of a black... Cap trill, I'll fly home today. Do, do, do. A little bit singing on purpose makes me all nervous. I have to be like focused and then I'll I'll, I'll caterwaul my heart out. But if it's singing for like I'll say, ah, Joe, level five. <laughs> Congrats. Oh well thank you, Shannon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All kinds of breeds, lots of eggs. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a wire wrapper, stretch kind, etc. What stretch kind? Just please no baby shark. I can't 
hope it, Lydia. You uttered its name. This one's a bop, honestly. Like, <laughs> that's our very first level five. <laughs> Excuse me, I got excited. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to drink some water. The more y'all talk, the more it helps our kick channel. Um, because they've got some hoops that they want us to jump through before we, that like, apparently you can get um, paid by the hour. If you like jump through all of their hoops, you can make like 16 50 an hour. I've never made that kind of money. So I'm like, mama's gonna hustle. And that's not based on, like, that's not any additional money from y'all, like, or any channel supporters. It's just, like, being, like, a kick partner or something like that. Now, Botrix is a robot. What doesn't have hoops? A free bucket of chicken for every hour of chat. Who gets to eat the chicken, chat or me? <laughs> Becca says, hustle on hustle. That's what, that is what we are doing. <laughs> I'm having fun. But if I have stew... I'm gonna want bread. And that's very upsetting because I don't have any bread. Wait, yes I do. Oh, but that's for poor boys though. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, one more. Ooh. Ah, stretch ankle bracelets and anklets. Nice. Uh, bye Shannon. Have a great rest of your day. Vaughn gets paid by the hour, start streaming 24-7. You bet your butt cheeks. For $16.50, I'm going to be streaming me sleep. Like, it's going to be goodbye privacy. <laughs> I'm trying not too hard today for level five. Gotcha. Oh, you're doing great, Rochelle. Bread. <laughs> it's carb hour. Well, because Randy's going to be doing shipping this afternoon with our friends going to be coming over. Um, so we've had to shuffle the schedule around, but that's okay. <laughs> Lurker putting in two cents for the hustle. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. You know we love our lurkers. Okay, I'm standing and I'm looking. What am I looking for? Nickel silver jump rings. Nickel silver jump rings. Do, 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 that I don't think I have any of. Uh oh. <gasps> Are these fortune cookie charms? Okay, I have to make those into earrings. How have I not made these into earrings yet? Look at those. Those are literal fortune cookies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I'm making fortune cookie, cookie earrings next. <laughs> Yeah, still don't have the uh, nickel silver jump ring, so. Hmm. What if I rummaged just a little more? Seven black rabbits up high in the snow. Twenty-one petals of down. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god. Apparently, Past Vaughn had made a whole bunch of bead links. Those might make good bracelets if we did some Mobius flowers. Mm -hmm. Oh, ah, oh. oh, it's not the right size. That might be good, though. I might use those instead. Yeah, I'll use those instead. Something we used to make, you guys, that I want to start doing again, because I have a couple of these, is we would take these compasses and we punch holes in the top because it's just a very thin, I don't know if it's real brass or if it's just stainless steel that's like uh, made to look this color. And then I fractal wrapped a dragon eye on the top of them. And I have five of these just like sitting here. Mm 
I need to make those. Possibly for dragon. We'll see. There's just not enough time in the day, but that's okay. We still try our best. It's still fun to try. Ah, hinges are a pain. They are. <laughs> hinges are a mega pain. That's why I bought those pre-made. So we need one, two. Do I have any others? No, that's the only one. Okay. So I'm just going to replace that one ring that I don't have any more of with these rings. So I got a whole Chessex dice container of. Magnet hit? For me, I would have found them. I would have counted seven and felt like Charlie Brown. Oh no! A close up of our printer doing shipping labels. Enjoy! <laughs> right on! Ooh, right on! Oh, that's how it starts, Lydia! I didn't prep up the melon, otherwise I'd have cottage cheese and milk. And I'm all out of nuts. So otherwise I'd just have cottage cheese with some like sunflower seeds in it. If only I needed less sleep, I would have so much more time. I love sleep though. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. That's one of my favorite things. It's just a nice being a sleepy. A nice nine hour, nine hour nap. Oh, magnet on the compass. That's a good idea. Now that you're not telling me a trick that's gonna like ruin my compass, are you? So I'll be super sad. <laughs> All right, so now that we've done a bunch of prep work, Oh, don't leave it there. Just test the metal. Okay. Because <laughs> I trust y'all. And it's like sometimes I can't tell when people are joking. <laughs> and so it's like, just put the magnet on your external hard drive and see if it'll... Like, <laughs> no! <laughs> All right. Let's see. I should have a great big magnet. Right here, actually. Right next to my external hard drive. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, well, it's a little magnetic, but not enough to... Like, you know how you can feel a very slight... draw? So I think it has something steel in it. Let's see, does it still work? <gasps> it changed the pole of my... North that away. Can I change it back? Well, I guess I'll be keeping this one. Hey, honey. How's it going? Maybe if I do that. Nope. Ah! Oh, that's the rest of the uh, April's glass order. I think I just broke my... Now the magnet's back where it was. This compass. Because, like, it's supposed to point north, right? Randy says, typically, let's test this one. Yeah. 
So yeah, it just changed the poll. Check YouTube for video on how to fix. Right on. That's okay. We'll just sell it as a compass that points to what your heart desires. And that's going south, apparently. <laughs> it's a Johnny Depp Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it closed? Sorry. No, I well, now we know. I have learned a thing this day. So, yeah, so we have enough of those. I think this is how I'm going to do my jangly anklet. Uh-uh. We could use it for setting things on fire. Gotcha. One... Two. Are you hungry? Four. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. No. Well, I, I had a po' boy this morning. Yeah. So there's more goo in there. I had to hurry. I didn't have time to eat two sandwiches. But what are you going to eat? Oh, okay, dude, I would totally. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Ooh, here's some more rings. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, let me get all these rings open and then we'll try the magnet again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh oh. My screen went black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right on, baby. So if this is 60, then I should be able to do one charm every third ring. So that's what I'm going to aim for. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Space guy typo. It's going to be in an expensive anklet. It is. This one's probably going to be, it, this is going to be one of our high-end anklets. Because, like, I am going to make some that are just going to be, like, $20. But this one's probably going to be closer to $50, if not more. Because we need to do something to establish a high price point. And I'm just going to hook through right, right there. I gotta go let the dog in. Oh, yeah, I want some crackers. Could you let Z Dog in, honey? Oh, baby. Ah! <laughs> you just said it in my situation. It's fine. Eee! That's valid. This is all very carefully thought out. <laughs> Y'all ready for the fresh Ritz? Oh, that's good. Mm. Gotcha. Randy makes po' boys and we didn't have any celery, but it's still delicious. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Yeah. No, I like the red. Thank you. Yeah. This is delicious. <laughs> Y'all, I was so hungry. This is so good. Oh, I just ate aluminum. Oh, well, I'll be fine. Or I won't. Mmm. Talk food to me. What are y'all having for lunch today? This clip squeezes my head. Mmm, sardines and Brits. Nice. Mmm. Hand barbecue hamburgers. Mmm. I fed hubby and kid. I haven't decided what I want yet. Right on, cat. What did hubby and child eat? Cheese on toast and tomato ketchup. Ooh. That sounds good, quiet. Mmm. Joe says, probably nothing for lunch. Had a couple cheese croissants. From croissant? From a French bakery this morning. Mmm. Betha says, I bought a meat and cheese tray that I'm going to chow down on here in a bit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Casilli says, beef stew. Ooh, sha -na 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 -na. Says, don't know yet. Avocado toast. Nice. Thinking about having a cheese and meat wrap with some bell peppers. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, chicken popcorn with mashed potatoes for kid cheese omelet with toast for hubby. Right on. Man, growing up, dad always made, like, one pot meals. And we, the whole family ate whatever was in that pot, and we had it for dinner. And then we had the leftovers for lunch. So there was no, like, diverse menu, <laughs> like, between all six of us. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God, pot. Oh my gosh, a T-bone? <laughs> Shin -na, 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 na says, would love a steak, right? <clears throat> we got pork chops defrosting in the fridge for dinner. But I'm hoping this will tide me over. Well, that's a big piece of crab meat. It's imitation, but it's still good. Meatloaf, rice, and black eyed peas, and Brussels sprouts? Ooh. AJ says, went shopping, so saw Burger King and broke down, like, your car? Oh, or your willpower. Okay. Haven't had it in about 10 years. Something about their onion rings. Hmm. I do enjoy a good, a good Burger King burger. We, <laughs> yum, we never eat pork chops. Oh, hubby has gout. Right on. My brother-in-law had gout, and that was that caused him a lot of pain. <laughs> hey, Kay. That's what we do here. We're hobbits that craft. <laughs> that fake, side crab, fake crab salad is the bomb. I could buy it by the gallon. Randy makes it scratch. Does he have his little clippy thing? Uh oh. Well. Okay. Oh, thank you, honey. Ooh, a Wendy's. I love Wendy's chili and a baked potato. You'll fit right in here, Kay. Mmm. <laughs> Jean says, I'm having fruit. I don't have to cook for anyone tonight, so I'm having fruit. 
right on. Oh, I got to budget this out carefully. We have three crackers and a bunch of crab meat. So I got to like, I'm going to have to cut this one in half with my teeth. Um, can I have a, oh, I got tissue. What? I'm a mess. I need a second. Mm. Oh, thank you, baby. Give me the tissue. Okay. No hands, you dog. What's up, little man? Uh-oh. I have too much crab meat. Mmm, mm mm mm. But Randy makes it from scratch with the crab meat, and then he puts in like Old Bay seasoning. And I think this is—is is this shredded mozzarella or is it that, that Chihuahua cheese? It' good. And I think lime juice. Hey, Halax! Oh my goodness. Streaming to the last breath. <laughs> the first man says, Randy, share your recipe. All right. Let's whoop, get that on there. Pardon me for having... Mm. Mm, that's good. Lunch break at my desk. Well, Hillax, we're not currently taking any custom work. But what kind of earring would you like? I really feel like I'm probably going to regret asking this, but I'm hoping <laughs> that it, it won't be horrible. Um, I think he just eyeballs it, y'all. Okay, so there's one, two, three. And just hooking that on there. Ooh! First man says... <laughs> Congratulations on level two. I will be sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hey, do you want me to come and clear off the table yeah. of all my, my drums and shenanigans? Okay, well, thank you for moving my drums. What all shenanigans did I leave on the table? Well, I'm moving these so that I can get stuff out of the way, <laughs> so that I can somewhat process what I'm doing. Thank you, honey. Food's not good if you don't end up with a little of it on you. That's a good point. Uh, hey, Trisella. Oh, it's not almost the end. Well, I, I guess we are technically closer to the end than we are the beginning, but we still got some good stuff ahead of us. And we still stream till five. Does it come with a fried chicken wing? Not yet. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Hot dog and pepperoni. And pepperoni. <clears throat> One, two, three. Vaughn hasn't said anything on fire yet, right? There's a lighter right over there. <laughs> So we could. Would y'all come to a kick drum jam <laughs> where I just practice my djembe drum? Because <laughs> again, if I can jump through all their hoops and get like our kick channel to where I'm actually making that hourly pay, um, y'all are going to get sick of me. <laughs> Michelle says, oh, well, yes. Okay. Now, just be warned, I'm no good at it, but I'm having fun. And I think, I think that's all right. Only if you wear your design you're making. Right on. Michelle says, I'll drum with you. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. I'll watch anything once. That's fair, Joe. <laughs> you live on the edge. Some things I take a hard opt out on. Like, cause Randy will be like, don't Google that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm serious. Stream your shipping. Make it a party. Right on. Well, we try to not stream anything where like other people's like information might risk being uh, visible. 
I bring my shaky egg set. Yeah. <laughs> Fun is what makes the world go round. Yes, it does. I love frame drumming. Oh, nice. I have a djembe drum that I'm learning. Well, okay. I have three djembe drums that I'm learning to use, but no. Yeah. Oh, we learned that one in middle school at the beginning of the internet. Somebody locked that one down early. Cases multiple instruments dust off that guitar and piano. Well, I've been practicing. I haven't done my lesson yet today, but I've been practicing the guitar for over a year now, uh, almost daily practice. And I've really been enjoying that whole process. Like, I mean, it's it's always fun when every day, like, I'm still not still not good. <laughs> but I'm better than I've ever been in my entire life. And that feels really good. It's very re rewarding. And I just, I really, <gasps> hmm, it's not quite jangly enough. And then it looks like I need one more. that I'm actually going to attach to the same loop as the lobster claw clasp. That way they kind of are friends. I don't believe you. I think you're better than the credit you give yourself. Well, I've got a lot more practice ahead of me. I think that's a, a very fair and generous way of putting it. There is a lot more practice ahead of me, but I'm enjoying the entire process. And then I got my flute back out as well, but I think I've got to get that repadded. Okay. This is going to be a very light tinkling. I think if I did these longer, they'd kind of hit each other more. Because nothing's really clapping against the uh, coins. So I think what I may do is, how do these attach? Oh, right on, Trisella. My mom used to make that for us for holidays. Um, as in, I don't know what word that is. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Shepherdess says, what is the hourly play? What is the criteria? Asking for a friend. Let me see. Um, okay, so I need to get an average of 75 viewers in the last 30 days, and I'm at 39 out of the 75. So encouragement to keep growing the channel. Um, and then it's the Kick Creator Incentive Program. Um, and I'll need to further monetize my channel. So it says reach a goal of 25, subscri 25 subscribers um, in the last 30 days, gifted subs not included. And oh my God, we're at 22 out of 25. Ah! Um, it wants me to, the next hoop to jump through will be to grow the community even more to reach an average of 100 viewers in the last 30 days. That's pretty daunting, but I'm gonna keep trying. And then it says to uh, stream for a total of 15 days out of the last 30. And I've only streamed for 13. So, um, and then it says put in more time, stream for a total of 50 hours in the last 30 days. I have streamed for 55 hours. So I nailed that one. And it says, get more people chatting. Have you have 500 unique chatters in the last 30 days? And we're at 318. So that's where the trolls come in. And I'm like, yes, 
say rude things. Blah, ha, ha, ha. Like, um, <laughs> and then it also, it wants me to reach a thousand five hundred followers, which we are at what I feel like is a massive 516. So big shout out to everybody who's here watching us on kick. Um, cause this could be, this could be a really big deal for us. I don't know. Like I I'm excited and uh, hopeful. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm also not letting it get in the way of doing. I am a very strong believer that if I do my best and I pursue what I'm passionate about and I try my best to be helpful to others, good things will happen. Things will grow into, the business will grow into what it's supposed to, I guess. You know, like if that makes sense. So the more we chat, the better. 100%. All on, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're gonna have to pay me to go away. Camille says, son started bass lessons from one of my band buddies. Nice. One million users. Yeah, it says gifted subs not included. But I mean, y'all still made my dick. So <laughs> like Shepard is says, maybe I should start a kick. If you have it in your heart to try out streaming, I'd certainly recommend Kick. Uh definitely, I would certainly recommend Kick to try it out. Right on Shepherdess. And also just to be clear, I'm in no way um, bailing on YouTube. I just, um, Vaughn pops up in your car and yells at you for not watching. <laughs> Becca says, since I started working from home, I'm not as chatty. Guess I'll have to remedy that. Ooh, it's fun to practice the gift of gab. I gotta find those jangly bells. Oh, jangly bells. Oh, jangly bells. My jangly dangly jangly bells. <clears throat> okay, so we haven't gone through these trays yet. Ooh, we have some pine cones and some whale tails. Look at this dragonfly. That's a nice dragonfly. Oh, we could do a really nice Celtic one, you guys. With those charms. I'm not going to pull those out yet because I want to finish these styles. But I specifically have some jangly bells somewhere in this house. Harumph and grumble, I do say. Ah! Laura says, I'm definitely going to start streaming. It's on my to do for 2024 list. Oh, awesome. And the nice thing about it is, um, it's so easy to get started on kick like there's tutorials and stuff and there's my jangly bells okay one two three four and five i found the jangly bells Whoop. oh that was pretty close y'all we dodged that like a champion <laughs> Whew. All right. But did you die? I did not. Thank goodness. And I think, let's see. I'd like to use the larger of the two rings. Ah. Have you ever tried smoked, sam smoked salmon and avocado? How do you keep it lit? Sorry. <laughs> oh, and Kay wasn't even talking to me. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, hey, Jules, how's it going? <laughs> Trisella says you have the best stuff in your boxes. <laughs> I like them. Um, I like my boxes. Boxes of stuff. <laughs> Y'all shouldn't encourage my poor behavior. Like... <laughs> Mind your business, is <laughs> Kay. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. <laughs> Dude, that'd be some cool tech if we could clone the, the bead boxes. Sitting in a sink smoking like it's a hot tub, just sitting with his little fins up. 
on the brim. That is a lot to keep up with, Lydia. If that's sustainable, though, keep at it. I'm personally pretty happy right now on just Kick and YouTube. I get a little overwhelmed just even using TikTok. So I figure, um, you know, just do what I can as best as I can. <laughs> right on, Trisella. I remember when I started, I had four bead boxes, and I'm like, I will never fill all of these. I was so naive. Oh, it was part of the fun and the journey, though, is filling the bead boxes. Twenty-one petals of daffodil. Now fly home to me. There we go. So it took me a while. Um, ooh, Jules says I've never done kick. What's that? Um, it's like Twitch, but different. Hey, honey, how do I describe kick? It's a streaming platform. So <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out how to describe kick other than it's like Twitch, but different. Like I need a, it's a streaming platform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on K. Oh, now this one, that's more like it. Do y'all hear that? I like that. I like a gentle jingle. So that one took us a hot minute. I'm not going to lie. Now we get to make two more. <laughs> Working hard for you, honey. Working hard for you, honey. Randy, I just want to let you know that I so deeply appreciate when you set up my chain mail for me. I take that for granted so much. This is horrible. <laughs> I did 60 rings. Yeah. My little hands. Ooh, Lydia says, Vaughn, does Kick have copyright policy? Um, yes, but I've personally not seen it be very uh, enforced. But they do have one listed, and I personally prefer to not risk it, but to each their own. It's like when doing YouTube Live, but better. Well, I like it. Everyone needs a Randy. I certainly do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So now that we have the design worked out, I know what I need to do. Two, three, oh, that crab meat hit the spot. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lydia says, only saying music in some of my TikTok videos, not my YouTube channel. Okay. What's up, honey? What do we need? Oh, um, we have a whole... Oh, okay. That's fair. Ah, Danielle, how's it going? Oh, it has been a, like a million years. How are you? <laughs> Erica says they do, but they don't come down on you for it as often. And if they do say anything, it will be in an email and they will block out a section that has the copywritten part, if that makes sense. That does make sense, Erica. Thank you. Ah, Jean says, do you have a separate video showing how to do this weave? Uh, we do. Um, it's somewhere on our YouTube channel. If you just search half Persian three in one, um, it should come up. Yeah, Erica. 
I went to the app store. Is there a logo, a green K? It is. Four, five. But the nice thing about Kick, y'all, is there's no ads, which I like. <laughs> so, so far, we'll see what the future holds. And the part of me that's like cynical and jaded and bitter is like, how many years will we be able to be on Kick before they get bought out by some larger company that slowly, you know, wears it into the ground, uh, trying to squeeze every penny out of every part of it. So Google and YouTube, Amazon and Twitch. <sighs> oh, well, but it's the cycle of it. And then there'll be some other new platform for me to try to figure out how to do anything on. <laughs> so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Yes, exactly, half Persian, Jean, you got this. One, we're a fourth of the way done with this one. Two, three. Oh no, Danielle says, I've been having lots of health issues, so it's hard to keep track of time. Thanks for asking. I'm currently laying on the couch after D&D triggered a migraine, oh no. So thanks for keeping me company. Migraines are rough. I've started, for me personally, I'll notice like my vision will go just a little blurry and I'll be like, like trying really hard to see stuff. That's when I need to take my Excedrin migraine and drink a bunch of water and go lay down in the dark room because there is a migraine coming. Six. Yep, you spelled it right. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. Eight, nine, and 10. Randy does his rows all neat too, and I just, eh. Is that okay? One, two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, well, thank you, Cat. It's not too bad. It is a repetitive motion, and I think it is good to kind of mix things up. Oops. Wow, Becca, that's like advanced. It says, I've been using Migraine Buddy to track them and learn my triggers. I also email reports to my neurologist, which has helped me greatly on his side. Wow. Yeah, and getting it figured out. I need to not be rubbing aluminum all over my neck. But Danielle says, I'm in a dark room and sometimes just have to close my eyes and listen, but still glad to be here. Well, we're here for you. Mmm, gotcha. Jean says, I bought a set of the rings to make a helm weave, but do not know if there's enough same size rings to make a bracelet. Hmm. This is horrible, she says, but the crab salad makes up for it. <laughs> I'm just absolutely pitiful that I have to open my own rings. Like, uh, no, it's, I'll, I'll survive. <laughs> Oh no, my wawa! Ah! No, okay, I'm still fine. All right, I'm gonna go have an oil change. I will be right back. <laughs> oh goodness! Oh, Camille, I hope that goes well for your dad. Oof. All right, I'll be right back, y'all. Oh, uh -oh.
My feet are all greasy. Well, I greased them up. Oh. That was my first one. <laughs> Did I get all my shenanigans cleaned up? Yes. I forgot to refill my water. Oh, well. No. Okay. I'll take y'all with me this time. I forgot to refill my water. So I still got to cook too. But I see. Oh, my gosh. Donna, thank you so much for the gifted sub. It looks like it went to first man. Woo. <laughs> all right. I'll be right back, you guys. Oh, she a big boy. See? All right, there we go. Hydrate your noodles. And we are at fifty. Oof. All right, we're going to get some more. We'll put on some chapstick and then we're gonna weave some more chain mail this stuff is exhausting oh my god randy does such a good job because he gets through it he doesn't even complain once i get through like five rings and i'm like i can't live like this <laughs> and don't judge me like my lips hurt i gotta <laughs> you don't judge away this is too much chapstick but I love chapstick. <laughs> Do I get a free bucket of chicken with my sub? No. <laughs> nope. <sighs> well, it's most of it's taken up by ice, but I'm trying to hydrate. Sh she's kind of wet. What's going on? Baby Hulk rage. You, you are such a menace to society. I love it. Shh, she's coming back. 
I knew someone with a chainmail business, says Sarah. They would hire someone to open and close boxes of things for them. Oh my God, right? That's a that's the way to do it. Oof. Wow. Al says I've made another 70 bears so far. So is that 70 total or are you up to like 120 now? <laughs> Chainmail sorter automatically, right? Which we are, oh, I closed that one. I was supposed to be opening it. I'm gonna add them to the top rows. So it's not too close to the edge. We're experimenting with some woven like machine woven and welded chain mail that we purchased from Mailtech. Um, we've had it and had it and we're just getting around to figuring it out. And it is just the coolest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I was going to get so much done today, but I found you and I just want to hang out with you. I miss you. Well, we'll still be on in the background doing your things and like come back and check in and let us know every time you get something done. Like there's, we can, we can have our cake and eat it too. <laughs> Plastic chicken, no calories, no flavor. Wonder if I can market that as a diet aid. Probably. <laughs> Honestly, probably. All right. So now we're getting into the closed rings of it. There's one, there's two. I do two on the first, and then I'm just gonna do one on each and none on the last. <laughs> 21 petals of death, 13th note of a black cap trill. I'll fly home to you. Oh, well, we still have an hour left. We're good. I'm going to see if I can get this made in an hour. Um. But I have been really enjoying hanging out. Yeah, we're on for another hour. It's it's stainless steel and it's it's really nice, y'all. It's it's expensive, like freaking expensive. But and then we still have to do the additional work of like going through and un like because I'll use. Let me put this on so I don't drop it on the rings I've set up. Um, we have a rough streaming schedule up on our website, Back to Earth Creations, but it's kind of jank right now. Um, but typically we, we stream on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Fridays, we always dual stream to YouTube and Kick. This Saturday, um, uh, this Saturday we were out of oxygen. So instead of doing lampwork glass, I'm doing jewelry and I decided to, to dual stream it. Um, I'm hoping to be able to do more dual streaming um, just because some folks prefer kick and some folks prefer YouTube and that's okay. Bring, bring. Thank you for the follow embracing time. Sorry. <laughs> it's the, the, yep, 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 yep. Anyways. Um, but yeah, it's, in guys it feels like silk because it's all welded so this is like it feels like a 20 it's shanananana well hey shanananana but yeah it's absolutely silky it doesn't catch any of my little hobbit hairs 
And this one's a little baggy, but I make them that way. That way we can size the ring down and we can size the wrist down to suit. I always prefer to make stuff a little larger because it's easier to remove material than to add more material. Well, oh, I don't even know how to unpack that. I think decadent, beautiful jewelry is for when we've achieved elder status, is my thoughts on the subject. Because jewelry is a fun combination of different memories that we've made over the years and things that we've made and things that we've done. That's way too stiff. Where's just a regular bug? Well, oh, and it heats up from being on your skin. Okay, back to weaving. Like I had found, my friend Christina actually um, got a group on my radar called the Grandmas or like the Grandmothers. I don't know, but it's amazing. And they have like a website and there's like books and it's just talking about like the value of being a grandmother in society and just like being graceful and caring and nurturing. And it's like, it just, it calls to my heart, you know, like it, it resonates so much with my personal goals for myself. And that's, I am in training right now to be the best 80 year old version of myself that has ever existed in any parallel universe ever. So that's like my life goal is to be a really freaking epic Nana. I didn't have any kids, so I'm gonna have to steal some children, but we'll get there. <laughs> if there's a Nana, there's a way. <laughs> and I feel so blessed to be surrounded by so many wonderful women who have lived their lives, who do have the honor of getting to have been older. You know, like you, you've gotten to and any of us with any luck will get to be old one day. And it's old is not such a bad thing spoken, you know, from somebody who's on the front end of knee pain. Um, but that being said. <laughs> oh, a kick user was asking if you had a. <laughs> Crafty lady says you're only as old as you feel, Jean. You could wear it. Yes. That'd be dangerous to wear during the summer in New Mexico, right? <laughs> Fry some eggs on it. Oh, somebody on Kick is asking if I have a YouTube. This is another half Persian, Donna. Um, well, the, if I missed anybody's questions, do feel free to ask it again. But it's just, it's very, very empowering. And it's, I need to catch up, but I want to get a piercing for, I got my ears pierced for the first time when I was about 10. And I would have liked to have gotten, but didn't have the money to get my ears pierced a second time when I was 20. And when I turned 30, I would have liked to have gotten a third ring. And when I make it to 40, I'd like to get a fourth ring. And, uh, cause it's, I don't know if it was a dream dream or just a daydream, but I just had this picture of myself whenever I'm, I am good and old, like pruny, gray haired, everything, like three strands of hair on the top of my head. I'll still braid them, but just, <laughs> you know, my wispy silver hair, if I get to be anything like my mother and ah, tassels. <laughs> did y'all, did you hear the audio on that, Randy? Oh, it plays the chicken song. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but I love that song. Thank you, Sisters of the Hood. Camille says I have six and a nose ring, but um, I had this picture of myself in my mind of just saying to a youngin, you know, you don't have to count my rings to know I'm old. And I was like a tree person, but I'm not a tree person yet. We'll get there one day. Ah, hey, Kibby, how's it going? <laughs> but, um... So yeah, that's kind of something that I want to do because it's, you know, people get upset about wrinkles and all these different things. And it's like, those don't just happen. You earn those. Those are badges of your life. Like, 
My father passed away when he was 48. He never got the chance to be good and old. Like, so I don't want to, uh... I don't want to squander the opportunity to get to be good and old. <laughs> First man says, no tats, I'm old. Right on. <laughs> no, we don't hear the audio unless you have desktop audio source connected. Oh, okay, Erica. Well, it plays this delightful little, like, chicken techno song where the chicken is squawking. Oh, yeah. Jean says, I'm not upset about wrinkles, just being tired. Yeah, there is that. <laughs> Hey, Kay. Yeah, we're still here. <laughs> Trisella says, age is just a number. In my brain, I'm still in my 20s and expect my body to get on board. However, my body sometimes has a different opinion. <laughs> What's up, baby? Trying to think of how to do it that to make it come. Well, I could just have it to where the desktop computer. Yeah. Put it That's right. So. We'll figure something out. Yeah. He, there's a problem. He's on it. Wow. Walk in the rain says I am blessed with a 93 year old dad. Why are you cleaning up your mess? Maybe not today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Erica says, I have two tattoos and only really like one of them. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Art Girl says, Vaughn, I lost my dad at 44. I'm so sorry. Yours was so young. Yeah, I was 13 when he passed away. I miss him every day. But the nice thing is we get to honor them in our memories. And we get to carry on with them in our hearts. Elle says, I'm old and tatted and I love every one of them because they mark a time in my life and because they are beautiful. Nice. Okay, Kibby says, okay, now that I figured out kick and had my lunch, I'm going back to the local Comic Con with my niece. <laughs> Bye, Kibby. <laughs> Ooh, right on, Mimi's. Best part about being old is the finish line is closer. Oh, I like that. The sassy wink. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait to see my hair go gray and that be that crazy old lady down the street. Nice, Danielle. But yeah, so I, I like the idea of being in training for, uh, for peaking when I'm 80. Which one was the gassy old lady down the street? Every time she like bent over just a little. <laughs> Are you talking about me? No. Which of our neighbors? No. Oh, when okay. When I was a okay, I thought you were because you just described me in the garden this morning. <laughs> I am the gassy old crazy old lady who lives up the street. I got the gassy part down. <laughs> Randy was telling me. I had not heard this story before, but then when they were kids, they had a gassy old neighbor up the street who every time she would bend over <laughs> to like pick something up in the yard, she'd fart. <laughs> and I'm like, that very well could have been me in the garden this morning. <laughs> the crazy old cat lady in the garden. <laughs> I'm just going to bite people when I'm in my 90s. I've got my eating teeth and my chomping teeth. <laughs> Note to self, <laughs> keep hands away from cat. <laughs> no biting, no biting <laughs> says Randy. <laughs> oh, wow. Kay says my mom is 91. My dad died at 63. Mm. Mm -mm. 91. Yeah, you kids stay off my lawn and get some vampire things. <laughs> oh, that's good fun. We're chugging along. It may take me an hour to get this woven. And just because I keep chit chatting, jabber jabbing. Mm -hmm. 
Ooh, one of my favorite things to use for anklets are the one inch scales from the ring board. And those get a very cool look. In one of the little boxes, do we have any more silver chains? Take me out, wobble it at me, it looks like. Oh, my brain. I think I'm gonna have a migraine today because of the light. Don't wiggle your head. What are you doing? You're freaking me out, is what you're doing. Gotta go pinch his little cheeks so you give him a kiss. Come at you. Tasher says, hi, Randy. He said, hey, Tasher. It's because I keep putting these clips in my hair and I keep finding clips. Like I've got... I started today with no clips in my hair and it's just been escalating. <laughs> Freak out. <laughs> Crafty Lady says that was my very first 45 record. Freak out. <laughs> Becca says I can't wear headbands for the same reason. Yeah. <gasps> Erica says I need to get a good dose of The Sims. Erica. Did you ever play The Sims Medieval? And have you heard of Manor Lords? The Spiffing Brit has been playing it. Like Randy and I have been watching a Let's Play of him playing it. This is Baby Hulk Rage. Oh my God. It's everything. It looks like it's everything that the Sims medieval was supposed to be, but also with a little bit of stronghold mixed in. So I'm like so ready and I'm not allowed to, to play it until after we get back from anime St. Louis. Cause then we'll know if we, if we can buy it. But I think, I think I'm going to lose a whole lot of my productivity to that video game because it looks really good. We're going to buy it. E. E. So I may start streaming video games just to be able to um, make an excuse, just to justify it. All of well, and by justify it, I mean justify all of the ungodly amount of time that I'm going to be spending playing it when I should be preparing for Dragon Con. Um, but cheese prime yeah, simulator. I'm lose you for tens of hours. You're gonna stream. Oh, okay. Randy's insisting that I stream it. Okay. Do I stream it on this channel? Or do I start a new channel? I don't feel like starting a new channel. I'll definitely be streaming it just to kick because I don't want to get comments from people on YouTube being like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Because the people who hang out in the live chat are awesome. A lot of 99.9% .9 of the folk who hang out in the comments of the live chat after the fact, like on the replay, are awesome. But it's that 0.1% who just take like a poop in my comment section. <sighs> Y'all stress me out. <laughs> like, goodness. <laughs> so, yeah. Are you feeling prepared for Dragon Con? No. No, I'm not feeling prepared for Dragon Con. <laughs> not for like three years running now. Um, but that'll be okay. We'll figure it out. If you stream it, you're not not working, right? <laughs> Which will allow me to enjoy myself because I'm happiest when I'm working. I really am. Man, I lost at Cheese Farm Simulator last night. I stayed up till 1230 and I didn't even win because those freaking bandits <sighs> destroyed all of my Fletcher's workshops. It's rough. Uh, Stronghold, not Cheese Farm Simulator. Thank you, honey. Ignore the trolls under the bridge, right? I already have her named other heads down.
<laughs> we are the weirdos. <laughs> Crafty Lady says, I'm addicted to Animal Crossing. <laughs> What's your favorite part about Animal Crossing? Like, just like, is it early game or like just kind of maintaining everything? Right, Joe? 100%. <laughs> Huh. I thought you were going to say, what's your favorite part of Animal Crossing? Is it the animals or the crossing? <laughs> Randy just poked his head around the corner and said I, that he thought I was going to say, what's your favorite part of Animal Crossing? Is it the animals or the crossing? It's Animal Crossing like frog. <laughs> oh, is. No, I think it's like a harvest moon. What's Webkins? Um, it's Manor Lords. M-A-N-O-R, Lords. It's like a medieval city building simulator. I think it's built in Unreal Engine 5. And it has goats and chickens and, and sheep. And roads. Can't play games. I get hooked and it's over for me for months. My last one was Hogwarts Legacy and that was... And that was me done for a month. Yeah. No, I have to like plan my year around a video game. Because it's like, which month can I afford to be the absolute least productive in? But I really do like playing video games in summer. When it is just the, like triple digit heat outside. We close all the blackout curtains. And we go into a dark den of solitude in the living room. And just crank the air conditioner. And put clip-on fans pointed at us. And, like, sit with ice packs under my boobs and just just get fat and sassy. It's nice. That, that's my favorite time to play video games is, like, late July through mid-August. So right when I'm supposed to be prepping for, uh, for Dragon Con. Right, Randy and I have both been vicariously living through the, or uh, vicariously living the Hogwarts Legacy experience through Baby Hulk Rage. Uh, she's been playing through it. Well, we watch her YouTube more than anything. Has she played recently? Yeah. Has Erica played recently? Yeah, she streams all the time. Well, time. Legacy. Oh, okay. Because we've been watching that on YouTube, right? Yeah, it's beautiful game though. And then, like, ah, oh, all of it. I'm one of those people who has to get all of the achievements and crap that gets bad. Yep. She's going to play it Wednesday, babe. Yes. That'll be nice. We can sit down and make some inventory and bother her in her stream. Do what, honey? What? Sorry about people in your stream. You're the greatest. Crafty Lady says, do it. Enjoy the fiber addiction. Ooh, I missed something. So I've got to go dig them out again. I've been missing like a whole, what's going on? Uh-oh. I got a sneeze coming. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. I did not mean to just sneeze on everybody. Thank you. Mm. Godzilla. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That was a big one. <laughs> like, you ever sneeze so hard it realigns your chakras? Like, <laughs> it was one of those, like, I'm having post-sneeze clarity. Oh, that's fair. Only worse. <laughs> Put your back out. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what Randy was just saying. He's never sneezed so hard that it made his back feel better, just worse. <sighs> um, I don't, I think, I, I think it's just on PC, like, I don't think Manor Lords is on the Switch, but I don't know. Knocks your neighbor's socks off. <laughs> Fiber addictions go perfectly hand in hand with weeb addictions. Okay, Randy says Manor Lords is going to be PC and Xbox only for a while. <laughs> Tracella says that was a calm and ladylike sneeze. My kids say I sneeze like a goose elephant. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds like a good sneeze though. <laughs> um. Did you see that reel where the challenge was to sneeze with your eyes open so dudes try it and poops? <laughs> no, I hadn't seen that. <laughs> oh no. Oh goodness. I have not seen that, Tashers, but I can I can picture it. Ah, uh, Danke Lynn. How are you doing today over on YouTube? With the possibilities. <laughs> right, crafty lady. Do elephants sneeze? <laughs> Randy says, and I quote, Oh yeah, their trunk goes crazy and sprays six-foot boogers everywhere. <laughs> Spoken with the absolute certainty of someone who's probably seen it either at the zoo or on the internet. But, <laughs> oh, y'all are good. Yeah, we're all fluent in typo here. We did watch a video of a hippo farting once, and that was kind of life-changing. Like, it wasn't, like, devastating. It was just like, oh, goodness. <laughs> Tricilla says, thanks for the visual, Randy. <laughs> he says, no problem. <laughs> During the live streams is the best time to let me know when I'm out of frame. Because I can actually do something about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <sighs> First man said, I saw a hippo poop at the zoo. It was funny watching people run away like they've never seen poop. Yeah, but like I've never seen it be wagging tail flung. Crafty Lady says, yes, elephants do indeed sneeze. Right on. <laughs> oh, you're good, Kay. All right. Still getting this through. And then I'm going to need to open 30 more. Woof. I think I'm going to go with Joe on this one and charge $800. <laughs> Maybe 60 instead of 50. We'll see. Wagging tail is the windshield wiper of nature. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> Crafty lady says my my dog farts and scare my dogs fart and scare themselves. It's hilarious. Four hundred dollars. Nah, maybe if it were made in silver, because then it's the same amount of work, but more value. As opposed to old aluminum. 
What'd you do, Laura? Did you, you did it? Ah! Opposed to the poop copter to mark territory. Right on. That makes sense. Aw, well, hey, Calvin. Calvin just popped in and said, just wanted the chance to tell you that you're my favorite wire wrapper on YouTube. Well, thank you. There's a lot of really good wire wrappers, so that's a really big compliment. Thank you. What are your favorite things to wire wrap? And Laura says, I did. <laughs> you got your uh, work surfaces cleaned up. That's a big deal. Seven black rabbits of half the silk. Twenty-one petals of death. Thirteenth note of a black cat's trill I'll fly home today Well, hey, how's it going, Doc? Now you can work on the half version four and one. Oh, that's going to be good. Crispy high five. <laughs> well done. Oh, well, thank you, Jean. As in most things, I have a lot of years of practice ahead of me, and I'm excited. There's lots of things I haven't even tackled yet. I'd like to do more metallurgy stuff. I'd like to practice channel setting. I want to do that thing where you put a cabochon on the bale and it, come in, it comes down. Um, like, you know, oh, that's not a good way of describing it. Um, like the wires will poke out of the figure eight bale and they kind of hug a little cabochon. I need to learn how to do that. I'd like to get better at hammering. It's all sorts of stuff. <laughs> well, thank you, Jean. Okay, so laying, oh, excellent. I'm gonna hold it up just to make certain. Yep. Oh, Laura says, I'm so relieved, you guys. I've been overwhelmed by them for months. I'm so happy for you. I know that that's a really good feeling, and I, too, need to clean up my work surface. But I'm not going to, so I'm going to live vicariously through you. <laughs> Um, Jean says, about how many rings does it take to make this anklet? So it's 60 units. So, so far, <coughs> excuse me. So, so far that's 120 rings. And then I'm going to do another 10 for the extender chain. And then I'm going to do another 30 for attaching the rings. A bunch. It takes a bunch. So like at least 160 so that's good. Um, <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Trisella. I certainly do. I, honestly, I, I think y'all are, I just mirror y'all. So y'all are the fun ones who bring, you know, because you shape the conversation with all the topics that you bring up and the questions that you ask. So I stand, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We've got the coolest community on YouTube. And that makes it easy to do my best. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, uh, bye, Art Girl. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you in, we have a tutorial tomorrow. We have a shop update on Monday. And then we have another live stream on Tuesday. Here on Kick from noon to five. But so maybe on YouTube as well. We'll see.
Because if I'm just over here making jewelry, then I should be able to keep up with chat okay. Oof. And then one for attaching the lobster claw clasp. Uh oh, where are my lobster claw clasps? Clasps, 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 clasps. Yep, yep, it just. Ooh, Becca says, I'm moving vicariously through Vaughn. Started to set up my craft room last February. Oh no, and got really ill and haven't been able to get back to it. But I'm getting better, so hopefully I'll get it done within the next month. Every little bit, every little bit is progress in the right direction. You'll get there. I'm certainly glad to keep you company in the meantime. What's the bee dance? <laughs> okay, let me do something with this. Oh, doing the bee dance. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. I'm sitting here in my head. I'm, okay, gotcha. I had read it as you were tired of doing that. And I was like, you okay? <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Y'all, I have been using lanolin in my hair and on my elbows, and I absolutely love it, like, so much. And my elbows are almost all better. They're getting there. <clears throat> all right. Oh no! Cat says, no, don't say pee. I've needed to go for half an hour, but don't want to move my dog. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there we are. All right. So now I'm going to do... There's one. Add a frame again, here we go. There's two. And there's three. There's four. And this is just one open with one closed on it. And these are 18 gauge, three sixteenths inch rings. Ah, the yelling carp. Quiet Space says, doesn't lanolin smell like sheep? It does, and I love sheep. Uh, lanolin is actually like the sheep sebum that whenever you clean the wool, um, it kind of separates out. It's like an oily, waxy substance, um, but I really like it. And I'm actually responding better to it than I am to jojoba oil, which has the same like molecular structure or something um, of, you know, the sebum in our own skin. Um, so what I do is I call it my snake oil and it's an apricot kernel oil base. Um, so it's like 50% that, um, does Randy like it? Hey baby, do you like the way I smell? He goes, yeah. Can you smell me at all? Not now. He says like, I don't smell like garbage or gasoline or anything or sheep. <laughs> well, cause I wear wool dreads too. So I just, I, I, I smell a little sheepish. Um, probably. Um, but I, the oil that I use, my snake oil, as I call it, is, um, apricot kernel oil. It's 50% that. I don't think <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a good impression of this, but Randy goes, well, I don't think you smell bad, <laughs> but like he did a really good sheep bad, bad. Yeah. Um, Poop, poop, smell me now. Um, <laughs> but no, it's a the apricot kernel base. And then I add in jojoba oil. Uh, like, so if I'm doing it one cup measurement, it'll be one cup of the apricot kernel 
a half cup of the jojoba oil um, and then I kind of just eyeball it with vitamin E oil, um, evening primrose, argan oil, tamanu, which that one, that really smells strongly. Um, so I don't always put the tamanu in because it just, that smells really strongly to me. Um, but I do use it to spot treat like where I got burnt by the cast iron. Um, and then I put in uh, rose absolute, um, which is not an essential oil. Um, and then rosemary and lavender. And I really enjoy that combination. And so the, there's a lot of smells going on. Like I don't leave my house much though. So, and it makes my skin feel good. So, and then I go through and I, cause I've got a little jar of the lanolin that's about this big and it's very like waxy and like sticky. Um, so I'll scoop it out with the back of my thumbnail and put it in the palm of my hand and then I'll do a little squirt of my snake oil and then I rub that in until it's heated up in my hands and that carrier oil so it's kind of like cutting it um, but then I use it straight from my cuticles I love the lanolin and then whenever I do that and I do my elbows then I put it in my hair and I focus it on the tips of my I don't think I smell like a sheep but I can't tell I need a sheep for reference. Randy, can we get a sheep? Ah, he says no. That okay. Wow. Karen says, when I was little on the farm, we had 200 plus sheep. And when the shearers came, I'd fall asleep in a pile of bundles of sheared wool. And it was so cozy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Becca says, I heard him. <laughs> the walk in the rain says, petting a sheep after it's shorn is lovely. Oh, I've never petted a shorn sheep. I've petted a sheared Randy and I cut his hair, but, and it sounded like a strong no to the sheep. Oh, Trisella. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a strong no to the sheep. Ah, it's okay. Randy hates fun. It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't really hate fun. I don't think. Hey, Randy, do you hate fun? He says, yes, he hates fun. That's fair. Ooh, Julia says, have, do what? Can't stand it, he says. Um, Julia asks, have you ever sold your stuff or whatnot on eBay? I have not. I buy stuff on eBay quite a bit. <laughs> we do, it says he would get along well with Jim. I really do think he would. I mean, he hit it off with Edwin like immediately. Cause like Randy's not a particularly chatty person and him and Edwin were just sitting there hanging out. <laughs> do they make miniature sheep? Really Randy, it's a little sheep dog. <laughs> no, he's been very good natured about me trying to wear him down about ducks too. So I'm not going to push my luck too hard. Though a sheep has to bark less than the neighbor's dog does though. It has to. One, two, three, four. Oh, but we were at, it's a place called Exeter and they've got a bunch of pumpkins and sunflowers. Um, and they had a petting zoo, you guys. And oh my God, they had these miniature goats and their little mouths and their little creepy eyeballs. I love them. Oh, hey, Edwin. <laughs> I was just reminiscing at how well you and Randy got along. And I'm just picturing Randy and Jim getting to hang out. And I bet they would just kind of be t just just two bros just sitting there hanging out. <laughs> we do it says, hi, Edwin. <laughs> Pastor says, the owner of the place I work shuffled up to me the other day. He's in his 80s and rocking it. With the shit-eating grin on his face, I got chickens, he told me. <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, chickens are delightful. When we get back from Anime St. Louis, we might be getting more chicks. And I'm really excited. He says hi. <laughs> but uh, and I'm sorry, Julia. Um, I haven't sold my stuff on eBay. I buy stuff on eBay. Um, but I just, for no particular reason or another, I just never really got around to it. Are you planning on selling some stuff on there or? Karen says, I was in charge of the bottle lambs each year. They followed me around all the time. Goats, all they do is try to get out and wreck stuff. That's fair. Remind Randy that ducks are great. Great, They eat slugs and other garden pests and their eggs are great. Tracella says ducks are great. 
He says, I'm sure there are. <laughs> My Harley dog barked four times that I know of, only had him for nine years. Oh, wow. Well, how much can a sheep bark, though? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll do that three times. There's one, two. How's your fairy garden going, Michelle? Three. Four. They can bleat like a mother. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> the sheep barks badly. <laughs> I like it, Kay. <laughs> All right on. I love my ducks so much. The females are louder than the drakes. Okay. American Bulldog Ridgeback Mix. That's intense. Sheep bleat and they are a group animal, so then they might call out a bunch. Gotcha. Ah, congrats on getting to level one, Karen. Oh, my sister has Muscovy ducks and loves them. I just worry that we wouldn't have the space for them to be happy. Because the chickens are borderline. Like, if I get six more chickens, they're probably going to be unhappy. I should probably just get four. thousand um no uh rainy day so no progress outside but we'll get more stuff painted Ooh, okay so that means you just need two oh but five is better <laughs> they will absolutely eat the garden mine strip plants of leaves so not allowed inside my front fence garden anymore gotcha ducks need a place to swim yeah <gasps> follow sean the sheepman on tiktok before you buy gotcha well, that's a, that's a future us in a different house problem. Me dealing with sheep and goats and ducks and whatnot. Hmm. Oh, Julia says, I already sell on eBay and I think you would do well with live selling your stuff or whatnot because you're good at doing live stream shows. I also sell on what, oh, what not? Oh, I thought you were just being like blase. Like, <laughs> just like oh, this or whatnot. And, okay, no, I understand now. <laughs> well, I'll have to check into that. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Four, five, six, seven, do I really do this many? It's just 20, isn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Womp. I'll just scooch those over. And I'll scooch these over. Whew. So in today's riveting episode of Open Closey Ring, watch Sheepishly Me and the Sheep Game on YouTube to get my sheep fixed. Lamb's doing zoomies. Aw. Oh, nice big pond, but I think all the dogs and coyotes would eat the ducks. It would take some... You need geese with dogs and coyotes. <laughs> like... Just a gaggle of geese to come in there and knock the coyotes into shape. Not me doing the count voice in my head. <laughs> okay, what's next? Come on, brain. Ducks sound so cute. They always seem to do everything by committee and debate things thoroughly. <laughs> That's a kind way of putting it. Okay, so we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of the lolly beads. And so I'm opening up this little brass ring, which I'm pretty sure is an 18 gauge, one eighth inch. Hmm. You know? Some of these beads seem to fit on better than others. Mm. There we go. 
So if the bead isn't easy, I'm just going to take it off and go to the next one. Choose my battles. <laughs> yeah, a livestock guardian dog. Kat says we have a pair of ducks that visit our pond every year to start their family. I love watching the ducklings. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and you have vultures. Oh, goodness. Get them a donkey to protect them. It's my guard donkey. That's a whole bunch of infrastructure and everything. Like, we used to live out in pretty rural, and uh, I only kept rabbits at the time. And so we never had any problems with predators. But it was something that uh, neighbors and family with chickens really had to, you kind of have to put a lot into the infrastructure because otherwise you're just slowly feeding the wildlife. Ooh, grats on level two, cat. And Neil says, I forgot to tell you that I sold a bunch of dragon eye jewelry. Oh, at Halloween market. Well, congratulations. It's good to hear. Thank you for telling me that, Daniel. That's exciting. Get one goose to protect two ducks because duck, duck, goose. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Four forty four. Seven black rabbits of Hyperset, twenty one petals of death. Thirteenth note of a black cap true. Three from each Ooh, level three, K Tab. You are burning through it. You could put a second jump ring on the lolly beads to get them to touch the coins. Yes, you know, and I think I may do that on this one. Because I've got the rings open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thank you for that suggestion. That's a good idea, Donna. Michelle says, yeah, I have to reinforce our chicken coop area before I even think about getting chickens. Yeah. Wow, Kat says, had a bald eagle swoop on me the other day. I think it had eyes out from a rat terrier. Oh, no. Look out, little dog. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad you had a safe trip home, Kat. Go getting that on there and then closing that ring. There's the 10. Closing that, taking a moment, death gripping the uh, pliers there. Just wringing out the dirty sponge that is my neck and shoulders. Mm. Okay, back to work. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fourteen. 
15. <laughs> 16. I can count, y'all. Yay, if there's statues. Yes. Oh, no, I can't. I lost count. 16. 17. 18. 19. And 20. So now I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to hook on an open ring and close it. And then I'm going to hook a second open ring and close it. And so that's going to lower us down some. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's what I'm going to do to have it hang, and that way we've got a lot of very jingly jangly going on. So there's one and two. Now again, this is going to be one of the most complex and varied of the different inputs that we do. Oh, Kat had asked, let me see. Oh, well, hey, Blacksmith. How are you doing? I didn't see you pop in. Okay. Um, the terms are so neat. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I got these off of AliExpress and eBay and some Fire Mountain Gems and just a bunch of different places over the years. Crafty Lady says, what about putting little bells on the chain to make it jingle just the tiny ones? Um, we'll be doing that on another design because I'm going to... I want to knock out the complex stuff initially, um, and then Randy and I are going to tackle the more straightforward stuff together. Where we're just kind of powering through and doing like the same bell or the same Skyla charm on uh, like the whole length. <laughs> Stretch breaks are always a good thing. They really are. Erica says, is it just me or has anybody else felt semi-tired today? Kat says, I'm always tired, so I haven't noticed. That's my superpower. I'm always tired. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I got these on AliExpress. Mm -hmm. One ring thingy, two little ringy, three little ringy. <laughs> Raining cloudy all day. Not tired, tired, just not up to my usual Energizer Bunny normal. This is a read and watch on kind of day. Right on. I'm glad to keep you company. Ooh, eating some pizza on this lovely 420. Nice. What, what's on your pizza? Talk food to me. <laughs> like, tell me about your pizza. <laughs> Did we all leave milk and cookies out for Snoop Dogg? Oh my God. <laughs> no, but the day is young. <laughs> Jean says, I have a bunch of tiny brass colored bells. Maybe I found a use for them. Yeah, you could make some anklets. And if you've got that helm chain kit, helm chain's a really nice base for anklets or bracelets, like a little jangly bracelet. <laughs> Nothing high bow, just finishing an old Vampire Slayer series through library loans. Nice. Mm -hmm. I do. I love pineapple on my pizza. Hawaiian is delightful. And I go one further and I dip it in ranch, pineapple and all. I'm a monster. It was more about gin and juice. <laughs> Just a DiGiorno personal pizza, pepperoni. Nice. There we go. What's up, big boy? What is it? Don't yuck my yum. Tomatoes are fruit. <laughs> and also, have you ever had fruit pizza? Like where it's like, um, oh, we made one where at, our, at our friend's house where it's a puff pastry for the dough. We used to, we'd just use sugar cookie, cookie dough, which is pretty good as well, I'm going to say. Um, but then... 
And then, and then you make a very light cream cheese frosting. So it's mostly cream cheese with a little bit of like frosting sugar, like that confectioner sugar mixed in. And then we slice up like kiwis and those will be the pepperonis. And we'll do little like strawberry slices and little like blueberries and just whatever. We just, we put as much fruit as we can physically fit onto the top of the pizza, um, fruit pizza. And then, and then, and then we eat it. And that's my favorite part, but it's also very pretty. And if you want, you can slap some uh, powdered sugar on top of it. Fruit loop pizza? What's that? <laughs> Miku, tomatoes are fruit. They are. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's very yummy with puff pastry. Oh, Alfredo or garlic sauce? Hey, baby. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. <laughs> It's good. Like, we do not maintain our girlish figures by not eating the fuck out of everything that comes in front of us. Like, it's like, if it goes by, it's like, we gotta eat it. Yeah, he's walking by rubbing his belly. <laughs> like, if there's, if we see a good recipe on, on like, Instagram reels or something, yeah, we're gonna make it and then we're gonna eat it. <laughs> like, this is, this is the way. So it's the way of the Hobbit. Yeah, Alfredo or garlic sauce instead of tomato sauce. Right on. I can dig it. Blacksmith says never cared for ranch on my pizza. That's fair. Have you ever had like a, ba a bacon chicken ranch Alfredo pizza? It's a good gateway into putting ranch on everything. I see your model Randy's walking behind you making all the chicks jealous. Oh, yes. You should be jealous. He's good. <laughs> and he's DTE. That's down to eat which is my favorite. Raffle, not a huge fan of ranch. Well, that'll do the trick. <laughs> no, one of my greatest joys in life is feeding Randy. Not like manually, like I let him use his own fork and like actually feed himself. It's like, <laughs> Randy says it's like feeding a wild horse. You never know when you're gonna get bit. And he cooks, he does. And he's a super good snuggler. And he reaches all the things that I can't reach. Choo choo. Oh, it is almost time, isn't it? Y'all, it took me over an hour to not get this inkwit made. Oh, Malanta. But I've enjoyed hanging out. Oh, okay. Do, 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 do. It is okay to eat all the time. It's just the what and how much. Exactly. All things in moderation. No, don't go. Oh, we've got to. Our friend's coming over and we're all going to be doing shipping together. <laughs> Randy says all things in moderation, including moderation. <gasps> Did I say the F word? What's the F word? Which one? How'd the dog get outside? Ah, Danielle says I have a Todd and he's pretty dang fantastic. Yeah, oh, okay, that's right. Ooh, crafty lady level two. Kiss. Please. I put on a bunch of chapstick. <laughs> no. Come here. Chapstick? No. Ah, <laughs> Wendy. I got to go chase it. Don't make me chase oh. you. I got pliers on my hips. Wendy. No. Why are you so fast? I love you. Bye-bye. Z-Dog. What are we going to do? There's nobody here supervising us. Let's eat everything. What should we chew on first? Nah, no, you're right. I got him, guys. I got him. He's quick, but I had the door locked. So <laughs> that slowed him down. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, right on. Kay says there's a lag on kick. I can see the chat better there, but it's more on point on YouTube. Gotcha. Oh, right on, Lydia. <laughs> oh no, unsupervised again? What should we do? Work harder. <laughs> Becca, oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Absolute chaos. Wee. <laughs> Wait, something about a ghost pepper? Enough resin for today. Ooh. Sriracha ghost pepper chapstick. That's a lip plumper. Like, because they put like capsaicin in it to make your. Like that, that chat, like they've got lip gloss. That'll be like spicy. <laughs> no, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, it's a blacksmith and Tricella. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Because I've got to get dinner going because that crab meat and crackers was good. But it was also like two hours ago. Oh, right on. Well, thank you, Julia. It says, I sent you an email with some helpful links if you're interested in checking out the app. I'll do that. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to put that together. All right, so there's those ones. And then we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Because I also need to record a tutorial this afternoon um, on how to make ear cuffs so that we have a tutorial for on YouTube tomorrow. So I got a little behind y'all, <laughs> like I've been trying to keep up with everything, but stuff slips through the cracks sometimes and that's okay. I don't need to beat myself up about it, but <laughs> meanwhile, Vaughn in my head is like, <laughs> and it's like, no, I don't, I don't need to beat myself up about it, but I'm probably going to anyways, but just going to keep doing my best. It's good to give ourselves the grace that whenever stuff goes completely freaking sideways, but okay. Oh, I'm going to have to dig out more of those bells. Oh, all righty, y'all. Okay. So, yeah, thank you guys so... Ah, crafty lady. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> well, thank you so much for, for making this today wonderful for me. Like, I've had a fantastic time getting to hang out with y'all, both on Kick and here on YouTube. So, we will see y'all in tomorrow's tutorial that I got to get recorded. Um, and then again on Monday for the shop update. And then again on Tuesday, we'll be streaming here on Kick and probably on YouTube as well from noon to 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and then and then we're not going to see y'all again until probably the following Tuesday. So I'm going to need to get the website calendar up to date, but we're going to be at Anime St. Louis. So wish us luck, you guys, and we will see y'all next time so until then happy crafting and oh we gotta go raid somebody is anybody streaming okay so uh, oh what do i click there we go bye danielle bye jean bye lydia bye julia bye Kay. everybody over on youtube i'm gonna click that okay happy crafting okay and then we click that and now over here on kick 